So, um, hello? Technically, we're live. Somebody's here. Okay, well, we are. We are back. New, new stream. Leave. Get out. New stream. That's cool. That's, that's cool. That's so cool. Alright, well, I can't even see the old stream. So, like, somebody says, I don't wanna. O okay, fucker, then just stay here, I guess. Whatever. Um, well, you can't even hear this. Whatever. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, well, I have to close this window now, so that's annoying. Let me hang on. Do I not have a chat anymore? Can I get my chat back? We're back, boys. Yeah, we are. Hello. Claw. I, I appreciate the chat members who immediately bl blame the streamer. It's like, oh, Claw, you did something wrong. That's cool. That, that's so good. That makes me feel so good about myself. Oh, Claw, you gunted it. Did I now? Did I? Did I? When I switched from a fucking scene, when I when I switched from one thing to another and I clicked a, fu a couple fucking buttons like I've done 400,000 fucking times on the stream. Yeah, I gunted it. It's my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. Definitely my fault. Fuck you. Eat shit. I'm banning you. Fuck you. Claw, you did something right. Thank you. Where are you? Where are you? Hang on. Who, who are you? Who is- Claw, you gunted it. Oh, it's you. Uh, okay, I recognize your name, so I guess I'll give you a fucking moratorium just this once. Just this once. You fuck. You fuck. You double neighbor. Alright. Um, yeah, as far as I can tell, what happened there was I pressed something on my stream deck and that broke it. The stream deck is now breaking the actual streams. I want you all to know that. The, the stream deck is now actually breaking the streams. That's what I think just happened there. The stream deck, uh... Which, which before would would just would just not work itself would just break itself and cause me problems. I, I think there I, I I had it break on me because I I used the stream deck. So that's great. That's great. That's super great. Um, I'll take a moment to read some super chats here. Um, let me see. Wow, it's actually telling me who became a member this time. That's cool. Sometimes I have to reopen OBS and it tells me that we were about to do somebody named Super Vor. Uh, I don't know how much of that came up on the stream, but we were about to do Super Vor, so that's coming up. Um, there's two bucks from Shirley Jen Lion. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hi, chat. Hello. Um, there is, uh, let's see, five bucks from Get That Griff. The Worth It or Web, Worth It or Website is a movie review site made by a college dropout. It was rated a while back by Soy Teens. The Worth It or, oh, like, wait. I think you might have missed oh, worth it or is it like worth it or wait worth it or woke oh oh okay the super chat actually cut out the word woke that's funny yeah because the super chat just says the worth it or website is a movie review site made by a college drop the, the name of it is worth it or woke that's good um well, I'll, I'll save this, I guess. Um, worth it or woke reviews. That's cool. Um, remember that the Mario movie is great because it's not woke. Said a, said a real Mario fan uh, while we were watching that, that review. He just blurted out that, of course, the woke media doesn't like it. It was, it was pretty great. Um, five bucks from Victor Martinez. My large... Okay, we read that one. F's, F's for the Chester's hot fries, but I can't press something on my stream deck. Um... Right now, five bucks from. Mm, mm. Try Lily Lily Orchard. She's like Mr. Enter, but instead of being angry, she's smug and condescending. Also, she dates her fans. Well, I mean, if they're you know grown ups, and I don't know, it depends on factors. But uh, I've heard of Lily Orchard. She's got some crazy opinions. That's for sure. Um, I don't think she's that interesting to look at on a stream necessarily. Uh, not for me. Her main video was about like Steven Universe, and I could not possibly be tortured to give a shit about Steven Universe. You would have to kill me before I cared about Steven Universe. Um, let me see. A hundred and okay from Marcus Jacobson dropping acid and saw you were live. Was originally planning on watching a 
fistful of dollars. Well, Wajinga, um, first fu- first time watching live. How's my favorite cripple? Uh, well, not so great right now. Not so good. Uh, I was, uh, I I was I was gunted by the powers that be. Not my fault. I was gunted, and um, there was nothing I could do. And um, and uh, now, but now we're back, and you know we're getting back into it. Uh, five bucks from Bimp Lisk at the Dragon. Hey Claw. Yeah, you know, I read that one. I read that one. Um, I hope I have heard of Sh- Neon Neko Sh- Sugar Girls. Uh, that is that is uh, that is something I think I've looked at before. Autistic Wolf with the membership, not pressing a button on the on the stream deck. I don't even know, cause cause the thing is, I've been watching a lot of Jack's films lately. His his Sniper Wolf streams. I mentioned that, and he uses the stream deck so much, and I'm like, did he get like the funny good stream deck that actually works? Why did mine just break, and why can't I fix it? I've updated the thing. I've updated the firmware, the software. I've restarted. I've plugged it into different outlets. Nothing fucking fixes this thing. It is just broken forever, and it's. Seems to be like at whatever I pressed before fucking cr- crashed my entire OBS. Uh, so that is super fun and cool. Um, uh, let me see. Um, five bucks from Joe or- Ortbits. Hey, Deadwing Dork. My gr- uh, GF and I watch your streams, and I was wondering if you could give a shout out to Persia. Uh, shout outs. Uh, I got, uh, does that make you the Prince of Persia? <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably, probably heard that before. <laughs> But, uh, shout outs, shout outs. Uh, not applicable, became a member. Uh, thank you very much. Just imagine there's like horn honking sound effects happening right now. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Truly a gunt moment. Um, uh, thank, uh, d- indeed. Um, two bucks from Get That Griff. I'm sorry I claim you gunted it. Stream Deck gunted. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Now that you all understand that it is a bannable offense to assume that I ban- that, that I gunted. Now that you all understand. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, uh, 100 NOK from Marcus Jacobson. Uh, with a watched link, it's like a YouTube link. I can't, I can't just click, uh, maybe I can, okay, actually, I can open it here. Hang on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got this here in the thing. It doesn't let me copy that from OBS, but I can copy it from the actual chat window. Um, this is, uh, let me see here. Watch. Da, 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 da. Don't, that's, that's with two slashes. We don't need that. This is uh, Mystery of Malaysia Flight 370, and it's a, a a video from somebody named Shield of the Sun, Michael Jimenez. It's also, it's the word sun, like my son, um, not like I'm a shield of the holy sun, you know, like the, the fucking praise the sun. Uh, no, Shield of the Sun, Michael Jimenez, and it's about the uh, mal- mis- missing Malaysia flight. Um, I don't know that this will be necessarily very interesting, but I can look at it a little bit. Um, uh, thank you. It also says, here's a suggestion, don't worry about the tech difficulties, you're back, and that's all that matters. Oh, thank you. Uh, two bucks from Shitty Streamers. Lol cow, uh, that's good. I'm Now I've really made it. Shitty Streamers is right here. You've ca- you finally come to the source. Uh, Lol cow Rex. Kaizmalej puts 12 and Oddcast. Well, I haven't heard of any of those names. Um, I have not heard of any of those people. Kai's. We're gonna try to do Super Vor, by the way. You are not being deprived of Super Vor. Uh, I'm going to try to bring you Super Vor, but let me just, uh... Kai's Malage. I've never heard of this guy. Oh. This is the guy... This is like the... I've seen this video recommended to me from John. The unhinged meltdown of Reddit's worst meme stock influencer. And, uh, yeah, it's this. I I guess this is his his thing. Um, maybe take a look at that, maybe. Um, not familiar with that. I should probably watch that video first. Uh, Putz12. Splatoon 2 Rage is the first thing that comes up. Oh, man. Oh, he's a Splatoon Rager? Oh. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Thought from five years ago. We got a whole series, a compilation series of this guy raging at Splatoon 2. That's great. That's great. I mean, it's Splatoon also. I mean, that's the other title of that game, by the way. Splatoon also. Um, but it, it's Splatoon. It's like, I mean, it's, it is it is by nature a little kid's game. I know that it can be competitive and difficult, but also, I don't know, man. You, you gotta recognize what it is that you're playing, especially when you apparently look like this. I mean, jeez. 
Jeez. Um, let me see here. Um, and then finally, odd cast. What is that? Odd cast. Oh, is this the? Uh, I think I've heard about this person. Yeah, I might have heard about this. The odd cast universe. Oh, there's a cool channel here with a name that is uh, two. It's a thing that I dubs used to say that is two slurs together that I cannot say on YouTube. So that's cool. Uh, and the 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 the, the n friend f friend um, uh, word. Um, so that's cool. Uh, five bucks from Tivy Two Vs during the first wheel streams. You landed on PSP and played a JRPG that was kind of generic, but you liked it kind of anyone remember what it was i don't know uh i should probably put gaming spaces back on the wheel again because i want to do that but uh sometimes it's like too much effort to fucking boot up an emulator and try to find something to play and all that um but i, I do i vaguely remember what you're talking about yeah um there was a there's a number of games that are like stealthy releases on the PSP that you don't reckon. Stuff that I'm like, I looked up lists of cool PSP games, and then I find out like two years later, like they put something on the PS5 from the PSP, and I'm like, wait, why have I never heard of this before? Um, okay, so two bucks from Miss Sparkles. The Coma Romance is by Maroon Recap Vegetative. Ah. <sighs> I feel like that's just raising more questions, honestly. Um, maroon recap vegetative. Oh, okay. Maroon recap is... Oh, is this the thing? Yeah, what the fuck is this, actually? Vegetative girl in a coma for four years but pregnant male caregiver becomes a suspect so wait no this is one of those channels where they like darmanify have you have you ever seen this thing have you ever seen this genre of youtube channel this is a thing that happens that people do they darmanify real movies and they'll take like a scene from a movie and then they'll go Prison director falls in love with female inmate, willing to give up life and die. And it's like, it's like, what happens next will shock you type thumb uh, d titles. Uh, her husband dies just after she's pregnant. She marries a stranger to survive. And it's like, this is a Katherine Heigl movie, it looks like. Um, yeah, this is, is this, is this fucking, is this fucking date night or whatever? Date movie or whatever it's called. 500 pound chick marries rich boyfriend after three it is date movie uh 300 pounds of life liposuction um yeah what 40 year old yummy mummy falls in love with 25 year old male nanny and this is just what they i'm not even gonna click on any of these because all these are are just they it's a clip from a movie it's just a clip. It's like a, a. This is like an eight and a half minute scene from a fucking movie, but they just throw on this Darman esque title, and like content farm people. It's it's it's. This is not the first, and it won't be the last channel that I see that does this. Um, it's pretty interesting, though. It's pretty interesting. Um, I, I'm I'm happy to have had the chance to 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 ramble about that a little bit. Um, so I wanted to do. I wanted to do. Not you, not you. Yes, this one. The sub. Uh, I don't know how much of this uh, wound up on the thing. Um, I don't know how much of this people end up ended up hearing before the stream crashed. But uh, this is uh, the sub suggestion by King Laffer, and we've looked at um, we've looked at this uh, channel before. Supervore is the channel um and somebody was suggesting uh that we look at supervore and uh this is the channel the sub you can see we've got a couple simpsons here we've got a couple of fat children and this is a a fat vor adult with a cool isn't this the fucking wait isn't this like edgy picture back here isn't this like the p nut butt or think about it gamers it's pretty fucked up isn't it isn't that this that image that i have in like my stream intro i don't know but um yeah the description i have some cool stuff i put on deviant art uh but meh 
Can't make, can't wait till I get time to make videos frequently again, lol. Um, so this was a request from somebody. I guess we're gonna get into it. Fingers crossed the stream stays up. Wrong one? Is this, are you kidding me? This is a different video. I mean, this is, I think, also the same subject matter, though. You're telling me there's just another one? That one has, what? Skelly bones riding a hog. Okay. 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 Um. Fine, I'll just look up, I'll just look up, uh, sub. Skelly bones riding a hog. Well, you suggested the wrong one then, chat member. You, you are now telling me to look up a different one. That is not the one that you told me to look up. I'm lo I looked up the word sub, and that's not here. You told me to look for one that was like a substitute teacher or something, and that's what this is. Um, so, I, I don't know what, which one you were thinking of, but it's not on their channel. If it's not this one. Oh, she's inhaling the pizza. She's inhaling a person. She's inhaling a different person. An Oreo. Mermaids and burgers and... Great. We love that word art. Super vor word art right there. Thanks to Hippie Knight. Oh, the sound effects. The good stuff. So she starts out as just a an ordinary punk chick with a Punisher t-shirt. You guys wish that we still had the stream gunted? You wish you didn't have to see this? Anybody? Because I don't know, that might be better. Yeah, there's no state. There's no need for spaces, that's true. This is Hannah. She's always liked how, how big women's bellies got when they were pregnant and wanted to be that one way one day. Yet she didn't really like the birthing processes and feared it the most. The processes. Okay. There's no, there's no sound effects or anything here? Uh-huh. So she needed to find an alternative way to obtain a belly that large. That's when she discovered something that might work. Uh, is she gonna eat an apple once a day? Vor. Well, hopefully Fatty Patty won't break her seat with her big fat butt, XD. So these are her students, you know, uh, children, I guess. But they're about to be vored and obviously being sexualized for their weight and whatnot. Um, you want to know what's even funnier? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How about this dialogue right here? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a fun little animation, you know? It's just a fun animation. Nothing weird here. Wow, don't spoil it, says chat member. You'll drop out of high school at 16, you'll accidentally have... This is a whole fantasy that this creator has invented that he's putting into the mouths of these characters. Sorry, the Sangi's not up. Yeah, the Sangi's up. But, like, yeah. Let's get a little... There you go. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Custody over a kid who hates you. Meanwhile, I'll get attention from FAs while completing high school and college and have a happy rest of my life. Yeah, well, only if you don't get a fucking heart attack at 15, fatty. Not a bully stream. Not a bully stream. Yeah, suck my t- Okay, now. Come on, now. No hot- the she explicitly said in six years when you are 16, so these are all 10-year-olds. And, uh, I just, I just don't know. I mean, this is, this is a, this is a 10-year-old over here, and, and we haven't even gotten into the, the real meat and potatoes vore of the video. It's, okay, okay, that's, it certainly is enough. Where do you kids hear this kind of stuff from? Oh, sorry, teacher, we're, we're, our words are scripted by a strange, strange old man. Sick my tits, Kyle. Yeah. <sighs> Read it in a, in a Cartman voice. Mrs. Glass over here. Um, today, instead of a boring lecture, we're going on a field trip. Alice Glass is going to teach the kids. And, um... To where? I don't remember there being a field trip today. 
Uh, would you question a free field trip? Okay, so so, um, there's just not even an attempt at like voice acting this or any kind of background music or any sound effects other than, like everything is jettisoned except for the vor sound effects. That's the only thing they put effort into sound effect wise. This whole thing is fucking silent, but you did hear like a oh vor noise at the beginning when she was eating pizza and shit. Clock PNG. Side mouth. Yeah, she got the Sonic Adventure side mouth. Motherfucking son of a bitch. I, I get the... Wait, what happened? Okay, so she tells the class to bully this child. This is... This is... This is fucking... This is fucking bad on a number of levels. I don't like this at all. I just don't like this at all. So she's getting the class to bully the kid. She's, what grade are you kids in again? Is this like Austin Jones getting them to say the age? Um, this is reminding me of the, um, what is it? The red letter is the best of the worst with the lady who was like, you have to be an advocate. And she was just getting all the students to fucking bully kids and call them fat and just be like, now say you're sorry. And they'd be like, sorry. And she'd be like, good job, good job. And not understand at all the way kids work or, or people or just like life, like just not understanding life at all. Um, that's, that's what this is reminding me of. Just get the whole class to bully that kid for being poor. Fuck him. Big and drowned. <clears throat> Whatever, Tubby. Wait, why did she suddenly get so much fatter? Oh, okay, that's right. The loudmouth kid. So you ate the poor kid. I just, I'm not... The thing about Vor that is the problem for me is that they almost never deal with it on, like, a a level of it being, like, fucking horrifying murder. It's always just, like, a funny, like, they, they never, they never approach, like... Yep, that guy is just dead now. Like his family is dead is 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 wondering where he is and they're very sad and like or in this case like you know the little kid like they've put up fucking there's there's missing children posters in the neighborhood and shit and like and this lady is just a murderer, but we're not going to ever ever deal with that cuz that's like I guess a little bit uncomfortable for the fetish, I guess. I I don't know. It's like if you're going to do this, it's such a strange thing to have it just never ever seem to be like, what it obviously actually is, which is just, like, fucked up murder. She ate a child. <laughs> Why do we now have music? Why are there Simpsons here? And... And why is this reminding me of Stick RPG? Glad that they censored the word fat ass. You wouldn't want this video to be indecent. I didn't notice how nobody laughed at the joke because there's no animation or sound effects. So the means by which to communicate that somebody was laughing at her joke or that it was a joke uh, were not, not properly conveying that information, no. Yeah, this is a Christian hypervore channel. So this lady just like kidnaps these children and is now going to eat them all. This is again very very bad. I mean like it's I guess it's one thing if it's like a fucking horrible monster is doing it, but when it this is just like this is essentially just a fun little animation of a teacher murdering a bunch of students. And then probably getting away with it or something. Like, boring the cops too or something. Yeah, remember this is- yeah, you just eat them whole in one bite. This is- this is just, uh, this is the fun field trip that they planned, by the way. The- the- the, the sussy field trip. Um... They just go to, like, the Pizza Planet you know, fucking Pizza Gate restaurant or whatever in the basement, and she just starts eating all the kids. <laughs> Immaculate animation, yes.
And this is all playful, like it's hide-and-seek, like it's not them being digested into stomach acid and dying. It's all just playful, though. I mean, evidently, evidently being chomped, too, being chewed. Like, their brains are being mushed into this person's fucking, fucking teeth. And ate me! Oh, What a shame. Well, you got that right, kid. I don't know if I want to- I don't- you know, I don't know- I don't know that we need to look at more of this, frankly. We've seen enough. If you want more fucking Super Vor in your life, I guess that's an option. I am going to deny you the ending, because we have enough other suggestions. I think we get the gist of this. It's pretty strange. It's pretty strange. Um... So that was Super Vor. I'd like to take a look now at Worth It or Woke. Um, <clears throat> if it ain't, if it ain't woke, don't miss it, is the subtitle of this, um, movie, a movie review site. This is a movie review site. Um, and I think this is potentially serious. Blue Beetle, role models, men, role models, women, theatrical releases, woke-ish. Uh, despite the filmmaker's best efforts to create a, div a divisive snore fest. The deeply flawed, the deeply flawed, comma, Blue Beetle manages to entertain. Now, are, are you saying though deeply flawed or the deeply flawed Blue Beetle? Because either way, you're, you've written this incorrectly, but that's fine. No, thank you. I'm good. Non-woke, Dune Part 1. Woke-ish, Heart of Stone over here. TMNT Mutant Mayhem is woke-ish because they made a character black or something, I guess. Um... Oh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is the is the one here. Oh, and Barbie are the ones here that are straight up woke. Hardcore woke. Um, uh, I guess. Okay. Um, well, what's the Indiana Jones review say? Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is filled with unintentional metaphors that perfectly illustrate the franchise's downfall. Don't let our overall score fool you. Well, why did you rate it that way, then? With a meandering and pointless plot full of unlikable and uninteresting characters, as well as a sad, lonely, and broken old man in the shape of Indiana Jones, the Dial of Destiny is the physical manifestation of everything wrong with modern cinema. Well, I don't know. Why did you people fucking see it? Like... The funny thing about India, the, the Indy 5 is that it was like a failure, right? It was like a kind of a bomb. So, like, I'm just imagining that, like, a, a considerable number of the people that went to see this movie and actually gave the film money and actually made it as much of a bomb as it even was and not more of a bomb were, like, people like this who were just watching it to complain. It's like, I don't think this movie really represents all that much. Nobody watched it. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. Um, um, Indiana Jones and the problem. So this is just the, the uh, Critical Drinker website, basically. This is just that thing where you watch movies that, like, advertisements tell you to watch, and then you're upset when it turns out that they're corporate pandering garbage. This is that thing where people can't find new movies that aren't, like, okay. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, generic Nazi villain. Mediocre action film. Uh, well, a lot of this just sounds like legit complaints because the movie was apparently kind of shit. I mean, like, the de-aging thing. Um, get the talented Phoebe, Phoebe Waller Bridges bitter and unlikable Helena acting like a bitter and unlikable man. I gotta see this movie because people really fucking hate this this character. I've heard such mixed things about like she's either fine and nobody has she's either fine and like they don't people don't have anything to say about her or people fucking can't stand this woman. I, I have not seen it so I really can't comment but man people fucking hate Phoebe Waller Bridge you know let's click on one that I have seen let's get the chat mad too I I, I did like the Barbie movie uh, Greta Gerwig spent 145 million to deconstruct a beloved children's toy in a two-hour screed in hopes of making you as miserable as her what like having thoughts in your head and thinking about things on a deeper level then it's woke okay um this movie that is, like, like, it's kind of sad to say this, but this movie is genuinely too smart for people. Like, it's not that smart of a film, but it is smart enough that it has confused a lot of people into thinking that a lot of 
jokes that it's making ironically are serious um and and people just legitimately do not understand that this movie is a lot of it is just taking the piss i mean there's parts of it that are you know actually like celebrating women or whatever but you know a lot of it is just aware of what it is aware of the society it exists in and the marketing that will be uh surrounding it i like that non-wokeness is one of the categories here plot slash story visual slash cinematography performance direction and non-wokeness i guess editing doesn't matter or like music or anything like that that's not necessary um there's a husband and wife team who wrote a couple's book called men are like waffles women are like spaghetti it compares the female thought process to a plate of spaghetti and their thoughts overlapping and twisting around one another all touching each other simultaneously in a cognitive jumble barbie feels like a plas a plate of plastic toy thought spaghetti it has the form of spaghetti but its numerous underdeveloped and intertwined plots are inedible and served up with extra hate sauce oh dear um so i, I just i don't know what the they're they're complain they're comparing the female thought process to a plate of spaghetti but they're not comparing the like i'm not reading the book or whatever uh th this paragraph does not compare the male thought process as waffles um I, i'm assuming it's more straightforward and simple but it's like i, I don't know I, I don't know it's kind of insulting to be just referred to as like women are th are have are complicated and have a lot of thoughts going on and men are stupid and simple and that's why this movie is woke or something okay uh, okay this sounds i'm gonna be honest this 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 thing saying that, I mean, compares the female thought process to a plate of spaghetti. Thoughts overlapping and twisting around one another, all touching each other simultaneously in a cognitive jum jumble. I mean, you can read that as being, like, offensive to women, but I read that as just, oh, so they have a brain? So they, they have thoughts and they recognize that certain things are interconnected? I don't think that's just women, but okay. Why does this thing that should say the date of when the movie comes out say December 16th, 2023 instead? Why does it say that? Because it says starring Margot Robbie, whatever, director, rating, genre, and then instead of saying the date next to the date, it says December 16th, 2023. Great website, guys. Really good website. I'm glad it's not woke at the very least. Um... Yeah, I don't appreciate, as a man, I don't appreciate being told that my thought process is simple and idiotic like waffles or whatever this point is trying to make. Maybe it says it later on. Uh, this is more hateful to men, more hate sauce in this paragraph than, than this movie had. The basic premise of Barbie is that two worlds exist, the real world and the Barbie world. We quickly discover that the play of those in the real world affects the reality of the Barbie world when Barbie finds herself having an existential crisis, a term for which you should wear a helmet when watching the movie, for you will be repeatedly bludgeoned with it. Okay, but like, what's wrong with having a movie that's, I don't know, about mental illness or something? I don't know. Is that a, is that really a problem? I mean, they talk about things. I was I was happy when I saw that movie and I was like, "Wow, this is actually interesting that a movie based on fucking Barbie is talking about like existential dread and feelings like feeling like you want to die." I I that's interesting. That was a little bit interesting. I don't know. Uh but I apparently that's just too heavy. We we, we wanted the we wanted the Mario movie, obviously. She has to go to the real world to find out why the person playing with her is so sad that it's fundamentally changing barbie's very existence or forever be wretched and miserable herself fun right it was fun it was a fun movie i mean it was a very fun movie i i mean yes the when you write it out like that i guess the premise is kind of depressing but that, that stands to reason how it was pretty fun in spite of that i, I would say in what the film in what is the film's only redeeming quality the attention to detail by the costume and set designers that's the only redeeming quality not the not the really good like musical score oh yeah i guess musical score doesn't matter i guess the really interesting oh sorry really interesting original music and performances of like like the dance like the, the ken dance number and all of that none of that matters that because that's not one of the overall ratings here that doesn't factor maybe that's maybe that's weighing down the non-wokeness though so maybe that is that is you know in play that might be in play music is woke 
She's too smart for her plastic brain case. I mean, I don't know. It's like, but the movie, here's the thing though. The movie, I don't want to say the Barbie movie was like incredible. I had problems with it. There were parts that definitely felt like they were kind of condescending to men in a way that was like, okay, you definitely have a lot to say about how women's lives should be, but men are kind of not the focus of this film. And I get that, you know, it's not really meant to be the focus. It's, it's a movie for women or whatever, but it's like, I don't know. It does feel like it meant men's emotions are kind of played off as a joke sometimes. And, and there's some of that, there is some of that. And it's not like it's an incredible, there's a lot of jokes that didn't land and stuff, but I don't know, man. Like it's also that had parts that were pretty good and, and just like, like, the, the person in chat who says that she's too smart for her plastic brain case or whatever. Like, yeah, this movie has a doll as the main character, and it's and yet it's it treats her, like, a, as a smarter person than half of the fucking protagonists I see in media. Like, half of the fucking idiot, brain-dead, like, Ray Skywalkers who just follow the thing to the other thing and then get the superpowers or whatever. Like, I don't know, she actually had stuff going on, and she was just a doll. And it also respected the audience a little bit more than a lot of movies like this tend to, in like not completely spelling out everything that it's trying to get across. There were, there were some nuances here and there. Um, it's not fair to say that the okay, wait, right, right, the costume design, blah blah blah, um, the design. Unlike writer director Greta Gerwig's obvious hate hate relationship with the property, yeah, there's no love put into this at all. That's true. Definitely. There's not any, like, references to, to Barbie stuff. Not at all. No, it's not as if anybody... I, I love the idea, like, you have to, like, pay such respect to Barbie when you make a movie. You can't, you can't critically analyze that at all. You can't just analyze Barbie as, like, a, a cultural thing. Because Barbie is kind of a huge thing in culture that has shaped a lot of people's lives in the same way that Superman is or something. I think it would not be completely... It, it would be interesting... I've always, actually, that makes me think about it. I've always been interested in seeing, like, what... Because, like, you see a Superman movie, right? And it's, like, set in the modern day. And it's like, how does a world without Superman, like, exist in this era? Because, like, that shaped so many people. And, like, you know, Jerry Seinfeld loved Superman. And all these people were, like, fucking inspired by Superman. And comics and other media was inspired by Super. In a world where Superman doesn't exist, you know... You could really critically analyze, like, the, the role of Superman in society or something. You could do something like that with a character like that, too. And Barbie is an e example of a character. I don't know what these people wanted, though. Like, again, all of the complaints I see about this movie tend to be, like, it's too smart for what it is. And it's like, yeah, it's... Uh, are we... Do we really want it to be a pile of shit and just have no fucking thoughts, nothing to say whatsoever. I I would rather be annoyed by some of the messages in this film and, you know, agree with some of them and and have to think about things at all rather than watch the fucking Mario movie. We're going to look at the Mario movie after this on, on this site. Woke elements. Take every bullshit professional victim vagina hat wearing talking point ever screeched out of the face of a... Wow! Wow, this one, this is really hateful, damn. Uh, dumpy blue-haired lesbian at a women's march, and it's in this movie. I couldn't write fast enough to catch even a tenth of them. Well, I imagine that writing, I imagine that scholastic um, endeavors like writing and uh, media literacy are probably not your, your, your skill set. Maybe another ten viewings of the movie, you might be able to get a couple more notes. Um, let me see. Uh, writing down the script in, uh, in my in my notes word for word here are a few the word patriarchy is unironically are you sure about that are you sure about that shoehorned in no more than 11 times i counted i'm glad you counted i can just imagine this guy in the movie theater can you just imagine everybody else in the movie theater is like a couple or it's a mom and their daughter or it's just a family going to see an, a nice movie or whatever and then there's just this guy just like <laughs> That's number seven. Two. Two. Number eight. Oh, they're setting it again. They're setting it again. Playing mommy with baby dolls is okay, but if we're being obvious, uh, if we're being honest, it's actually oppressive. Just what? I don't even know what this is saying. 
Um, even through the films, even though the film's prologue touts Barbie as a breaker of baby doll chains, the film writ large. Oh, again with the writ large, you people, you fucking people. What is this? Is the old the only time I've ever heard anybody say writ large is Ben Shapiro, like fifteen times in the review of the Barbie movie. Holy fuck. Okay, well, we know where you're getting your opinions from. Thank you. I, this is just a text version of the fucking Ben Shapiro video. Amazing. Okay, what do you have to say about the Mario movie? What do, you, what do you have to say about the Mario movie? I know you have opinions about the fucking Mario movie. The Super Mario Brothers movie. Well, it gets an 85% for non-wokeness. I don't get that, by the way. Like, if you want to read wokeness into this movie, you can read it into any mo into it as well as you can with fucking a lot of things. First of all, role models men. Woke-ish. Yeah, half of the fucking movie, the thing, that, one of the main things that made me stop watching this movie was the fucking obnoxious girl boss peach bullshit. Like, I get, you don't need to have her be the, you know, the one that needs rescuing. It's fair to have Luigi be the one in that role, that's fine. But, like, they really, girls get it done to the fuck out of Peach. It was so fucking obvious and painful. And I can't imagine just, I can't imagine viewing this movie and not saying, not coming away from it thinking, I mean, I guess woke-ish, I guess that's the complaint. This gets a 75% from the woke, worth it or woke website. So it's a good, this is a good place to get your information from. Children's suitability, 87%. Well, yeah, it's suitable to fucking everybody because there's zero content in this fucking thing. Bing, bing, wahoo! Peach was, I, I don't know, Peach was kind of woke. Pe Peach, I mean, as, uh, when I say that, I mean, like, as woke as you're gonna call the Barbie movie for being woke. Like, that movie has fucking, you know, a point to the things that it's saying. This is just, look, isn't Peach a badass? Isn't she so cool? Peach said he's so cool. I, I don't know. It was, it was like, it was just trying way too hard with the Peach shit. Uh, and then it was also like the fucking Bowser song was awful. They and then yet and yet Bowser and Luigi were the best parts of the movie, and they spent like five minutes with them cumulatively. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it gets better by the end. I shut it off at like the sixty percent mark. I was just fucking done with it. Um, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie is kept from being something extra special by the filmmaker's desire to appease feminists. Oh, so they agree with me about the Peach stuff? That's cool. I mean, I guess they would. They would have to. But it's amazing that that's the main problem for you. Like, it's not the fact that there is nothing. Like, like, something extra special. What? What was it? It's just an advertisement. It's just, hey, go buy a Mario game. That's all it is. That's all it is. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to it. There's, like, the best part of that movie is, like, Mario and Luigi for the first ten minutes when they're in on Earth and just, like, living in New York or whatever and ha living their lives. That was fun. And then everything after that is just miserable. It's just an advertisement. It's nothing. Extra special. Something extra special. This movie sucks my taint. What are you fucking talking about? Extra fucking special. You want something extra special, then? You watch the fucking Sonic movie. Fuck you. Watch Sonic 2, I guess. But it is mostly a fun and relatively safe family movie. That's good. I'm glad the kids aren't going to have any bad ideals like anything woke or progressive. You know, as long as it's safe, it doesn't teach the kids any of that God, any of that stuff about God not being real or anything. Um, yeah, it's safe. Doesn't it won't it won't I mean, it won't poison your kids' minds at all. Now here's the Bible. I don't know, man. Non wokeness rating. Yeah. Luigi had like 10 minutes in the whole fucking movie. It was such a fucking pile of shit. There's a lot to like about the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's bright and beautiful. Yeah, it's a fucking cartoon movie. What do you think? It's gonna look like a fucking grunge video? What do you think? It's gonna look like a Deftones album cover? What are you talking about? It's bright and beautiful. What kind of fucking series do you think it is? You think they were gonna make this into fucking Mario the Spirits Within? What are you talking about, cunt? With crisp animation that is so loyal to the source material that is clearly a love letter from the anime. Yeah, it's so loyal that it makes me wonder why I don't just play a fucking video game. Because it's basically just a cutscene. Uh, it also boasts competent voice acting for- Oh, good, it's competent. That's good. I'm glad that it's competent. That's great. That's what I really look for in my movies is that it's competent. That's cool. As well as some fun action. Action. Yeah, I guess. Okay, fine. I didn't really even pay attention to the fucking action. I, it was just all references and annoying shit. Uh, however, the, the, mo the star of the film is definitely nostalgia porn. Well, yeah, that's true. 
Uh, Easter eggs, more than Easter Sunday. Without exaggeration, every frame is jam-packed and overflowing, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. They have nothing but that. They have nothing but references, and because it's Mario, they have a whole bunch of them. And because it's Mario, a lot of people will just literally just conflate, I, I like, good feelings of knowing, like, what Mario Kart is. And think that that's, that that's the same as thinking the movie is good. And it's great. It's such a scummy tactic. Like, the Sonic movie, at least, those two, the, the, the two Sonic movies at least tried really hard to, like, blend Sonic stuff into the world in a, in a, in a natural way. Sonic goes snowboarding down a mountain, like, ice cap zone. But it just happens in the course of the story. It's not like, it's not like it's just forced in, you know, like there's the whole city, there's like city escape shit that happens at the beginning. It feels perfectly natural. There's labyrinth zone, hidden palace shit, perfectly natural, giant Eggman robot at the end of the fucking so second movie and Sonic goes super and everything. Beautiful, perfectly natural. It was so good. Watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. If you want what they, what people say the Mario movie is, just watch that instead. But like. No, no, that movie fucking fits all that stuff in. This is just a pile of shit. The core story is fairly simple and straightforward. Yeah, fairly. Yeah, fairly. Um, oh my god. What stands out the most in the film is that Mario unabashedly embodies the best of manhood. He's determined, loyal, capable, and dangerous most of the time. Oh my god, this reads like a fucking Control-Alt-Delete like a joke from a control alt delete comic like 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 a non funny tim buckley joke but 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 genuine mario embodies the best of manhood everybody bing bing wahoo over here holy god holy god mario embodies the best of manhood what having zero going on this is so unintentionally telling about the person who wrote this just like barbie has too many thoughts brain like spaghetti mario best mario better have no brain no thought no thinky thinky bad thinking woke like good god holy shit what an unbelievably stupid fucking re review this is <laughs> i can't get over this i can't get over this is great this is great. Uh, all of that being said, wait, wait, wait. Most of the time, more in the woke elements below. All right, yeah, we're going to get into the peach stuff. He is unembarrassed by the depth of his feeling for his little brother, and he recognizes uh, and embraces the responsibility of being an older brother. Yeah, that was a nice part of the movie. I liked that. I, I did think that the brotherly bond was good, but again, they're away from each other for so long, and then once they've separated, the whole thing just becomes Mario and Peach being shepherded to various things that you point at and make soy faces at. Um, so, like like again the best parts of the movie were the parts at the beginning when it was just mario and luigi like fixing like the fucking part the part that they made that that advertisement that was like the the plumbing ad that was great i love that if the whole movie was just like the the original mario movie like they're just in new york but it's like a a fun animated adventure and there, it's like a wacky madcap thing they're doing plumbing in brooklyn like that would have been fun i would have loved that it would have been something it would have been something but instead, it's just, we go to the Mushroom Kingdom, and it looks like fucking Odyssey. It looks like every Mario game. Just looks like. It's amazing. Wow, I can't believe you managed to do that. I'm so amazed. He is unembarrassed, blah blah blah. Um, all that being said, it isn't a perfect film. The story and plot is very basic, and must, much of the voice acting is only good, not great. Which is a shame, uh, because there's some real talent behind the pixels, I must say. Charlie Day was wasted as... Yes, he was. He was. I mean, I can agree with some of this. While we're talking about music, they did a great job of orchestrating the various musical themes from the game into a fun member Barry score. Uh, yeah, and then they waste, like, cool musical stuff that was made for the movie. If, if anybody doesn't know the part in that movie where they go into um, Donkey Kong Land or whatever... They play the song Take On Me, but originally it was like a f an original orchestrated medley of like Donkey Kong music throughout the series, Donkey Kong Country music, and then they just r erase that and put in Take On Me. This doesn't even bring that up, but like, yeah, I guess. Um inappropriate elements for children everybody the mario brothers movie earns its pg rating in the way the films of yesteryear did there's no use of the lord's name in vain okay okay
They don't use the, the Lord's name in vain, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The only way you could survive is on your knees. <laughs> the Lord, they don't take the Lord's name in code vain. Uh, how old is this fossil? I mean, I would assume that he's the same age as a Ben Shapiro type of person. You know, so like our age, basically. Uh, the writers didn't squeeze in a superfluous curse word or some cartoon sex pot to goose it up from G. Oh, those sex pot cartoon characters with their gams? Oh, see? Uh, instead, there are some serious scenes and a bit of dark humor that, while not gratuitous, might be too much for the very young. Jesus Christ, imagine telling your kids they can't watch the Mario movie. Holy shit, that is the, that's the worst. That's the worst. That's harsh. I know that I know that I saw some children that I'd estimate at around age four burying their heads in their mom and dad's arms during the more intense moment. God forbid that children have any kind of emotions watching a movie. How dare they? How dare those filmmakers make those kids feel anything? Ah, oh, awful monsters. In the same vein, Bowder, Bowser utters the line when he watches me kill his brother. One of the characters, I think Luigi, refers to a creature as a hellhound. This is an inappropriate element for kids, everybody. Woke elements, we, we have the one female character in the movie. Which, again, they did, girls get it done the hell out of this character, but, I mean, it is just funny when it's like, woke elements, here's the one fa the one female character in this movie. <laughs> like, uh, I guess, I, uh, gee, you, you know, you're not wrong is the sad thing. Um, the movie's greatest weakness is its use of Peach, with the exception of the American version of Super Mario 2. The plot for every main title Mario game is that Peach is kidnapped and Mario and Luigi rescue her. However, in this film, it is Luigi who's kidnapped and Peach and Mario who go on the main quest. That's all fine and good, but what isn't is that Peach is absolutely amazing and perfect at every way. Yeah. Yeah, she is kind of a Mary Sue. I can't even argue with that. We're gonna, I'm gonna cock a, an eye toward the Lord's name in vain in the Mario movie up here, but yeah... That was definitely that. That combined with just the fact that there was nothing else for me to feel other than annoyance throughout this movie just made me stop watching it. So, uh, yeah, that's the that's their review of the Mario movie. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, that's the worth it or woke website. Cool, cool website. Um, I'll take a look at the uh, super chats here. Um, let me see. I had a few I had a few suggestions for another thing to do next. Um the Secret of Nim was a children's animated movie. Yeah, there's a lot of children's animated movies that are, like, you know, have a story. I mean, just look to fucking One Piece. I mean, I just talked about the, the, the One Piece show yesterday. But just look to, like, One Piece. Look to any fucking part in One Piece where there's, like, serious shit going on and people are, you know, horrible things are happening and the characters are in distress. It's like, kids are gonna feel really bad for their favorite characters there, but it's like... You know, that's part of fucking being alive. I don't know. Like, why can't we let the kids... Why cannot we let children in ch watch a, a piece of children's media and feel bad emotions sometimes? Is that so bad? Is that so wrong? The best children's movies are the ones that have, like, dark scenes in them and have, like, weird stuff. Like, weird stuff that makes kids think, you know? And even... And, and, and of course, the best ones are the ones that also have stuff that makes adults think. Uh... But no, don't worry about that. Mario movie has Mario movie has Donkey Kong in it. It looked like Smash Bros. He wear cat suit. I'm sorry, I fucking hate that movie so much. It's because I like Mario, you know. That's why. It's not like I don't like Mario. I'm a fan of Mario. I would have loved for that movie to be good, but it it speaks volumes to how the rest of the Nintendo movies are gonna be because they're gonna make a fucking Zelda movie and it's gonna be member berry bullshit and it's going to it's going to be fucking garbage. It's just going to they're all going to be shit. They are all going to be shit because people praise the fuck out of that Mario movie when they, it does not deserve it. It it does it deserved yeah, I don't know. It it did not deserve the 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 adoration that it's getting from people, especially from the fans. The fans should fucking know better, but I guess Nintendo fans, you know. Um let me see here. Um 5 bucks from Tivy 2 vs watch some old gaming uh, game reviews or rants. Mikey Spikey 200 is my recommendation, though he was actually good, but he hasn't uploaded since 2009. There was somebody, there was somebody who I was gonna look at. Oh yeah, it was from that Magic Mush video where he looked at the Nostalgia Critic clones. 
Um, he had some in here that I have never heard of. Uh, he had some people in here. There was like one guy in particular who I really wanted to look at. He, so he talks about dogs eating dog six for a long time. And then there's a segment here. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this maybe and we'll, we'll figure something out from that. Um, I, I, I will, uh, also look up, yeah, Mikey Spikey 200. I mean, I don't, I don't really care unless the reviews are like funny bad or something. Um, Mikey Spikey 200 hasn't uploaded since 2009. I mean, he does have a, a video talking about... Oh, man, he does have... Oh, man, look at this. Look at the 13-part series about Action 52. Oh, I love this. I know... I bet he says shitload of fuck, like, a couple times. At least, at least a couple times. All right, well, maybe we'll look at some of that then. Um, uh, five bucks from Felix. There actually is a specific version of Vor where digestion is the aftermath, and they basically shit out whatever they ate. Lumfau. Uh, yes. Uh, the, um, there's a lot of versions of Vor, and again, there's a lot of... I mean, I am not fucking qualified to talk about Vor. Uh, I don't know much about it, you know. Uh, but there's a lot of versions of it that are out there. There's, of course, anal sphincter Vor. And there's, uh, you know, there's penis Vor, obviously. Um... There's lots of types of vor. Different things happen after the vor. You know, a whole fucking world awaits you in vor country. Two bucks from Cryptid. Barbie movie was good. Both me and my sister cried. Yeah, I mean, I even got kind of choked up myself at the end with the uh, the little montage of, of stuff that they played. And it was like, it was nice that movie didn't feel like a Marvel movie where it had to undercut every serious moment with a joke. I mean, there were a lot of jokes that, again, that didn't land. that They really drive home that beach you off joke like a bunch. And it's really annoying. But, um, you know, yeah, there's parts where they just allow the drama moments to just sit there and let it be you know let it be sad let people fucking feel things for a second you know just for a second they go to the movie and they 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 come away and they're like you know i remember that because of that and not just like yeah i sure remember that advertisement for luigi's mansion you know i i don't know uh five bucks from oofies with two eyes i fell asleep in the theater during the indiana jones movie and i haven't done that in over 10 years lymphow yeah yeah, I haven't seen it. I've heard it's very boring. I've heard that not much happens. Um, they kind of... I don't know if I, you want to say, like, they emasculate Indiana Jones, but they do... It is that thing of, like... I don't know. There is some validity, I think, when people, like, uh, Critical Drinker or, who, or whoever, they make the point of, like, yeah, these are our heroes from, like, the old days. You know, people we grew up watching in movies. These are, like, our, our film heroes. And, like, now we just have to see them drag them out and they're, like, de depressed, old, pathetic wretches' excuses f of their former selves or whatever. It's, like, yeah, aging hits everybody, but they didn't even try to, like, make it a story. They could have... I would have loved an Indiana Jones movie where it is just, like, a... a like, I don't know, like, a more down-to-earth, like, drama. I don't know. Because, like, Harrison Ford's an old man. You don't want him doing action scenes. You don't want to do the fucking de-aging shit. But, like, they do, and it doesn't work, and they try to fit him into this fucking squ square peg into an, an X-shaped hole. And, uh, it's, it's like, no, just p play off his strengths. Make it, like, a, a dramatic intrigue movie about, like, secrets and, and make it a thriller. I don't know. Like, it would be different, but it would be, it would be more fitting the fucking actor, at least. Um, let me see here. Uh... Uh, five bucks from Michael Morbius. I suggested him before, but you should take a look at Synthetic Man. His Barbie review is really bad. Well, we're looking at some other review stuff here, so maybe that would be good. A little bit of a, a review segment. Uh, I do remember that, and I think I might have even saved it somewhere. But, um, Synthetic Man. Yeah, didn't, like, EFAP look at him or something? Uh, we might have even looked at this guy on a stream. He has a lot of videos that are, like, long, too. Damn. So this is not... I don't know. Mm. This just seems like a guy who's looking for attention. I mean, outright. Uh, out, outright, it's like he gives... I mean, just obvious. This is just obviously he's looking for attention, right? I don't know if I even... I don't know if he, I even want to grace this guy with, like, looking at his videos. This is just... 
Uh, Tears of the Kingdom's not a masterpiece. Oh, King of Mid. Like, okay. You, you, cool bait, you know. Like, okay. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I need that, you know. And, and then you go down here and, like, apparently he's, you know, got this stuff going on. Yeah, just seems like a person who's trying to, uh, try to stir up trouble. I guess we can maybe look at that, but, uh, I, I don't know. I don't usually like, d like to dignify people. Unless he's, like, going out of his way to say incredibly stupid things for the pur purpose of, I don't know, just, you know, seeming, seeming funny or something. It's, uh... Not really that, uh, not, not, usually if somebody's trolling super hard, I'm like, uh, well, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be involved in this. It's like, um, Mr. Girl. I, I really did think Mr. Girl was just trolling, and on some level I think he is, but I don't even think it's, he is, he has graduated to the point of it doesn't matter anymore. He's one of those where it doesn't really matter if he thinks he's trolling anymore, you know. Uh, one of the lamest YouTubers ever born. Yeah, S peak aware. Uh, uh, yeah, he does, he seems, he seems, yeah, it seems pretty obvious. Um, yeah, maybe though. Um, two bucks from, um, uh, S shitty streamers. Movie was good as a Ryan Gosling kin. He was me. Uh, I don't know. I, I did think that some of the stuff with Ken, there was a good message overall about like seeking individuality. Don't define yourself by like, female relationships and stuff like that which that fucking get catholic gaming nerd could maybe have picked up on but like there was there was some stuff like that um there was some there were some good moments with that but i also again i felt like there was there's a lot of attention paid toward women like women's emotions and barbie's existential crisis and then a lot of the time what ken was going through just felt like it was meant to be it was directly meant to be laughed at and i, I don't know it wasn't all the time and then there was layers to it but it did feel a little i don't know it was a little bit uncomfortable for me as a man watching it you know if i'm if i'm being honest i did like the movie but there were parts that were like oh okay like there was that whole segment that was barbie and the other barbies being like oh we're just gonna use this everything we're gonna we're gonna get this man to be comfortable with us and then we're gonna use all of their their insecurities against them i was like oh that's good that's a good that's a really good uh <laughs> It's a really good message for all the little girls in the audience. That's a good thing to... And it didn't seem like it was necessarily addressed that that was a bad thing to do and seemed like kind of a fucked up thing. Uh, I don't know. There was there were, there were problems with the movie, but overall... I mean, overall, at least I had fucking... At least I had something to say about it. Fuck. At least I had things to have opinions about other than just it sucks, like the fucking Mario movie. That is just the gold standard of shit. Like... Like, congratulations, you made a, 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 like, I don't know, that's what every, that, that is what I now assume every, like, Barney movie and Polly Pocket movie, they're all just gonna be, like, super safe Mario shit, but I don't know, Barbie was more popular than that, so maybe, maybe that will be more, more influential. Um, let me see. Five bucks from Liquid Dinosaur, a movie about mental illness is woke. Meanwhile, these dudes probably simp over Patrick Bateman. Yeah, I don't know. I did think it was that was a thing I did like about it. It was it was interesting to be seeing a movie based on a fucking action figure, which is talking about a fairly nuanced take on on mental health stuff. Um, yeah, you know, and and it was uh, it was it was it was, it was, it was interesting. It was like wow, yeah, the movies, movie, you know, for all you got to say about woke this and woke that, there is some actual you know, decent progress that is being made in movies where you're like, well, we are talking about things a little bit more openly that, you know, should be talked about. And that's, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, five bucks from what am I? Hey, Deadwing, have you watched this world? Can't tear me down from Netflix. Pretty underrated series. I have not heard about it. No, I started watching some of that Zom 100 show a little while ago. That seemed pretty cool, but I haven't, uh, I only saw like the first two episodes or something. Um, I've said before, I don't watch a lot of stuff that isn't YouTube. Like, I, I'm, mostly if I'm watching things, it'll be, like, somebody's video essay or, like, a, a, a stream or something. Uh, or a podcast or something like that. Um, it, it's, uh, generally, I mean, you know, I'll watch a Star Trek episode every now and then. Or, like, some Simpsons or Futurama or something. Not Futurama, really. No, I don't really watch a lot of Futurama out of order. I, I, because I've been meaning to watch it all the way through, like, episode by episode. Uh, I, I really should do that. That that should be something I do. But uh, no, I mean, 
the One Piece show was the thing that I... The the exception. I, I make the exception for some things. I am going to be watching the fucking Wheel of Time Season 2, which is apparently better. But again, if you want to get into uh, worthitorwoke.com or whatever... I've already explained the problems that the 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 problems where wokeness legitimately ruined that show a little bit. I uh I don't know if you've never seen if I did I did a video in December that was talking about like why every why all media is bad now and Amazon fantasy Wheel of Time and Lord of the Rings show and uh and it was like yeah they really did just like that they had an interesting universe that had like a lot of like, the, the whole Wheel of Time show, they had, like, lo logical reasons for every type of person to be from every location on the in the world. And then in the in, in the book, rather, they had that. And then in the, when they made the show, they just, like, yeah, everybody is super cool, diverse. Every type of person everywhere just looks like everybody. And it's like, okay. So now by making everybody diverse, you've ruined the, the diversity of this world. That's cool. Uh, I don't know. It's just that's talking about like media woke. It's like there, yeah, no, yeah there's uh, definitely times when that ha has happened. Indeed, I don't know that the Mario movie is like something we need to be d having that discussion about big time. I mean, again, when I was saying that Peach was woke, like I don't think that she's genuinely. I'm not. I don't. I don't really mean that like in a genuine way. But it, she is like a an annoying Mary Sue type character. And and as far as you can say anything in in any movie is woke i would say that she, she you know was i i don't i don't know that that is a word that has really genuinely lost a lot of its meaning at this point i think there is i mean again like you know wokeness is like a misguided attempt to be aware socially or something you know generally a corporate one uh is is how you would kind of define it and there are times when that does ruin things um so i mean it's it's unfortunate that there's these fucking people you know, it's the same thing with, like, you know, there are times when racism and sexism and homophobia exists. And it's a shame that there's so many people on Twitter who will just scream about things that aren't any of those. and About, like, a, 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 an Animal Crossing hairstyle or some shit. You know, the fucking Space Buns controversy. There's a lot of people that will make a mountain out of nothing. Not even a molehill, just nothing. And then it just, like, it just makes it hard to even be like, yeah, I don't know, man, you know, that last one you said was woke. I don't know if I believe, you said the Mario movie was too woke to watch because of Peach. You know, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can trust you now. Um, two bucks from Sonic Lull Productions. Did you see Oppenheimer? Uh, not yet. I probably will. I, I'm more interested in it now than I was uh, before seeing the the half in the bag about it because apparently it's... Apparently it's pretty good. I didn't know anything about it, basically. I mean, I knew it was a fucking Nolan movie. Nobody knew anything about it. Uh, but apparently it's pretty interesting. I don't know. It's not uh, necessarily a movie I would go and see uh, if it wasn't, uh, you know, um, uh, a Nolan thing. I'm probably just going to see it whenever it's available to watch at home. Um, and then two bucks from shitty streamers, Synthman. Man is what happens. Believe V opinion. I think you got your super chat fucked up a little bit there, but I think I get what you're saying. I don't know, but V's opinion. I mean, like the the bait V opinion. That's why. That's why I clicked off of that so quickly. We can maybe watch a little bit of one. You know, maybe we will. That's why I clicked off of it so quickly because I'm like, yeah, I've seen. I I was on V a long enough and long long ago enough that I can immediately go. Okay, this is just one of these. This is this is just. This is just that guy. This is... Yeah, by the way, open fucking letter to anybody in chat. Most people probably won't even know what I'm talking about, but if anybody if anybody remembers old the old days on fucking V... Oh, Magic Mush is here. Uh, welcome, Magic Mush. We were actually just about to look at your video of a Nostalgia Critic ripoffs because there was a few that I was not aware of. Uh, there was, like, a gaming one that I wanted to look at. I think I... Actually, no, wait. I think I saved him on one of my playlists. Hang on. It was, um, which one is it? No, okay, I guess I didn't. But I did save the Astro Boy Productions video. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, baby. Okay, well, we might be going right immediately back to Origami Kingdom pretty shortly. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Mosh is talking about, like, what wokeness means. It's like, yeah, there, there's, there's definitely, and there's nuance to it. I mean, like, I don't know, the fucking... 
Into the Spider Verse is not woke because it has like a black Spider Man or whatever. It's uh, still got you know. It's it's not it's not making Peter Parker out to be like a a horrible fascist evil white man. It's not making him out to be like a useless waste of space. Like get out of the way, colonizer. We'll take it from you. It's, it's nothing like that. You know, it's able to uplift, you know, a demographic of people or whatever without down, you know, be- browbeating a, a, a whole other group, uh, which is something that I assumed the Barbie movie was going to do was a lot of like shitting on men to make women seem better. But there was like a little of that, but I don't know. It wasn't, it was mostly not that. Um, um, yeah, so we're going to get into things here. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we were, uh, there was some, some requests for bad, uh, bad reviewers, old reviewers and stuff, and, um, I did not save the one from, um, uh, Magic Mush that I was gonna look at, so I will look at some of that video n- now. Uh, this is the gimmick reviewers section. This is a little, I guess a little shout out to this, this fellow's channel. He's in chat, you, you can say hi to him right now. ...selves over this. I hope I'm they're trying all... to find which reviewer I'm thinking of. Now that's where I, uh, that's where I was for gimmick reviewers. I've dug their own little niches, like reviewing Thomas yeah, the Tank Engine like movie. Thomas guy, and there was this, I looked at this guy on stream, Nostalgia Critic Jr. I remember this guy. It's like all of his videos were about fucking, uh, were about like teenage, uh, it was like Teen Titans Go, all of his videos. This audio mixing is worse. It's like young Do- uh, Justin Trudeau over here. Another installment of Time Travel Month. Yeah, this guy uses a bunny puppet to express his opinions. Yeah, it's and he- like the Sam and Max bunny. He reviews stuff like anime and cartoons and, well... Well, that actually looks okay, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I kind of like this thing. Yeah, he Hold looks beard. Cool. It's a shame this dude didn't really take off. Phil Bunny. How about that? No, I never heard about that guy. Okay, is this the one I'm thinking of? Today we're gonna be looking at another TV-based movie. One that's received a lot of hate from both critics and fans of the original source material. The movie in question is The Last Airbender. Uh, he's pretty good at the ventriloquism. You can kind of see his mouth moving, but he's pretty good. He's actually pretty good at that, to be uh, fair. This, uh, this, this man is a... Uh... This man is talking <laughs> to a wolf hand puppet. <laughs> Leaf here can't move like that! And neither can you, but for different reasons. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good ventriloquist there. Um, oh, this guy. Oh, there was definitely one specific one that I'm thinking of that I. Uh, Some clones have been mostly lost over the years, and their mere presence can only be found in old commentary videos. Take our friend Sour Apple here, a man who guy? dresses entirely in green and only green, and talks in the most forced accent I've ever heard on uh, my. It wasn't you, Reviewtopia. What was it? This section. Okay, I've gone good. through a bunch of nostalgia critic clones. Oh yeah, this fucking guy with the hat. I think I wanted to look at his channel a little bit. And seeing all these people on YouTube clearly influenced by Doug and his work, what could possibly top that? There he is! How Time to tackle the number one greatest critic online! Penis music activate. Oh, a whole website dedicated to ripping off Doug Walker and his old site, that guy with the glasses. The Gamer's Atlas. Yes, that is one I wanted to look at. I don't think that's the one I'm... Th- oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's this guy. It's the whole first segment here, right. That is who I'm thinking of, yes. Oh, and you also brought up, um, fucking what's-his-name? The dude who tried to drive up to Milwaukee for Red Letter Media. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, Gamers Atlas. I gotta find this guy. Uh, Gamers Atlas. The bin. All is that? Wait, that's him. That's the same guy. The type of yeah, it is Gaming Atlas. Wow. Gaming Atlas. Okay, I'm not even finding. Is it this channel? The bin. He has like one video here. I think that's. Not even it. What channel do I look for, Mosh, if you have it? Uh, look up Nero's Q. Super chats aren't working for me. Well, that's concerning. Uh, it might just be your... Uh, Roran Productions. Okay, it might just be your uh, message not going through or something. Productions. Uh, gra- 
Gravity Falls, every no. Attack on Toilet. Oh yeah, here we go. The Gamer's Atlas. This is him. Yeah. Yeah. Therapy review. So he reviews like board games. I guess he does. Is that all he does? I thought he reviewed like video games too. Yeah. He reviews board games. Yeah. Um, which one? I don't know. Which one to start with? Well, okay, okay, I guess this one. Whack a Cat Girl is the name of this one. Otaku Rejoice! This is the card game that successfully recreates the look and feel of an actual anime convention. Oh, you, you don't need to... That's not, that's not selling me on that. Hell yeah! Crossfire! Okay, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like skits. I mean, I guess this is like, this is like a, this is like, this is like board James, <coughs> board James on hard mode or something. Like, it's the same concept, but, but infinitely harder to watch. Let me turn this down. Jesus Christ. The Gamer's Atlas. Hi, and welcome to The Gamer's Atlas. I'm the cartographer. And I'm Danny Dice. We're here to introduce the season finale of TGA. Since this week's game celebrates being an otaku, we decided to recreate one of the greatest anime intros ever in order to set the mood and go out with a bang. Now you're probably wondering what anime we chose. Well, we'll just let our apparel do the talk. Huh, 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 huh. I know that reference vaguely. What's happening now? <clears throat> There's explosions. Oh. Block number 386 destroyed! Damage? Minimal, but our turbines are damaged! Don't worry, we'll enlighten them. Man, I don't know. Maybe the One Piece adaptation actually is kind of bad. We'll show them just who we are. I, I, you know, I thought this looked okay the first time I watched it, but I don't know. Now I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see it might not be that great. Enemy armada, incredibly big. Are all those lights in the heaven? To be fair, this does look better than the Mihawk Don Creek scene. Is our enemy? They aren't worthy to be our opponents. Twist them out of space time. Yeah, it is Gurren Lagan. I am being an asshole. I don't know much about Gurren Lagan though, outside of the drill that pierces the heavens. Shit, the 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 memes from back in the day. The 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 glasses. I should watch it at some point. Ready the L stream cannon. Well, I got a Align it with the great dimensional watch. rift. Gamers Atlas, roll on. Who the hell do you think I am? Why are um. I don't know, somebody who knows about this anime is gonna have to tell me how accurate this is. This is the season finale. This is a big deal episode right here. And we don't have any of the lore, so really, that's our bad. Now that you're in the proper otaku mood, it's time to introduce Waka Cat Girl, the huh. game that puts an anime con in a card game. If you've never been to an anime convention before, A, that needs to change, and B, you probably won't get the- Man, this was from back in the day. I went to an anime, well, I went to the fan expo thing recently, a lot of it was anime, but it wasn't all anime, and it, it was probably bigger than a uh, quote-unquote anime con, uh, and more packed, I mean, even for now. Um, because it is, like, also horror movie stuff and, like, video game stuff. There was a whole, there was a whole embarrassing stage thing where a guy was trying to get people enthused about Overwatch 2. And he was, like, emceeing it. He was like, hey! Anybody play DPS? DPS, anybody? And there was, like, five people in the crowd. He was, it was like a sweepstakes thing. Like, people were playing each other to win stuff, but nobody even gave a shit. It was pretty funny. But, like, that was, like, kind of a general purpose con. And even then... Like, even considering that, if I had gone to just, like, an anime one, I, I considered while I was there, like, yeah, you know, back in, like, 2008 or something, like, yeah, you know, this was kind of a niche thing. Even just, like, five years ago or something, it was more niche, but now you got, like, the pandemic happened and everybody started watching anime and, you know, reading manga and shit and, and getting into just video games and, and all of the stuff that's at, like, Fan Expo. It's just, like... 
people they, these cons are fucking massive now i can't even imagine how like small time it must have been part time how, how, how small time it must have been uh back in the day when you had like you know a couple hundred people going to a convention now it's like a couple hundred people in within a hundred within like 20 feet of you uh, it's, it's, it's pretty mental. The full effect that this game emulates. It satirizes the whole con-going experience, right down to the glomping, okay. the souvenirs, and the losing of the cell okay, phone. Okay, chat member. The object of the game is to whack Neko-chan. Why? Who is this person? Like, I ever, this is the same person the last time, uh, the object of the game is to whack Neko-chan, by the way. Um, uh, this is the same person last time I did, like, a, a chat request stream, who just started spamming, and then when I was like, don't spam, they were, like, angry with me or something. So, so they've been just spamming about this Ollie Ellie Van shit. You, if you do that again, I'm just banning you from the channel. I've timed you out for now, but that is extremely annoying. I know you have like brain worms or whatever, chat member, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to learn to fertilize them a little better. Because she's cute, annoying, Lacker. cute. Because of this, she has to be pelted with various objects. Players start out with no cards. Six cards are placed face up on the table in a three by two array. This is the card. Yo, DSP Gaming is here in chat, boys. DPS is his cousin. That's right. On a player's turn, they can Dark Phil slide. Yeah. Either take a card or whack Neko-chan. You earn points for whacking Neko-chan, but you can't whack Neko-chan without cards, so you have to pick up cards on your first turn. Since your hand or arsenal is empty, you can take any card you want. Otherwise, you can't take any premium cards and must instead take from the discount rack. Premium cards drop. Yeah, I think I looked at the fucking Ollie Ellie Van shit too. They were asking for like an AMV or something like you could be absolutely certain that I will not look at it now I don't remember it being particularly entertaining the first time and I'm not going to be looking at it now that you've begged me for like 20 minutes I I, I was like I saw that before too and I'm just like I don't, I don't know why I didn't pay more attention to it I'm sorry chat I just saw that and I'm like no it's probably fine it's probably fine to the discount rack when a discount card is taken Players lure Neko-chan to them in order to whack her. They do this by discarding cards with hearts on them. Two to five hearts lets you whack her with one item, while six or more hearts lets you use two. Place your scored cards face down in front of you so that they remain a secret till the end of the game. This is the only time cards are ever face down. Seeing the choices that you and other players have for taking cards or whacking- So why are you dressed like this though? Like, what is this adding to the video? You know? Because it feels like it's- like, I don't know why you would want to dress like this, you know, like, if it's just for you. This feels really embarrassing. Uh, it's not, you're not even playing a character particularly. I mean, not at this point. I, I don't know, and when you are playing a character, I guess it's your costume for when you are that character. I don't know, like, Doug Walker's fucking outfit is just like a hat and a suit and a tie. Uh, take after that, what is this shit? Neko-chan really makes the game more strategic. Especially when you can do this. Ah, oh, what the heck, man? That flash is bright. Well, you Colonizer cosplay. Yeah, why? Because it's not even just you him. Can do this. Ah. Oh. It's also like this version too, who's like I don't know a less fancy version of the same type of character. You know, similar hat. You know, probably I don't I don't know anything about clothing or or eras of fashion or history. So you'll have to bear with me, but he looks like a fucking Wheel of Time character, you know, so... What the heck, man? That flash is bright! Well, Tricorn hat kind of while shit. While you were distracted by the light in your eyes, I took another turn. Yeah, he's what? like a pilgrim. The camera blinds another player and skips their turn when taken from the pool. Well, now that it's finally my turn, I'll attract Neko-chan with another cat girl. Oh no! There- Yeah, there was a Men in Black reference. You you did you did pick up on the reference. Do you feel whole as a human being for having noticed the reference? Because that's... I can only imagine the point of a lot of references and a lot of shit. It's like, it's like, again, it's always comes back to Ready Player One. It always comes back to Ready Player One. And I'm just like, you know, if I look up, if I look up what, whatever thing it is that this is in reference to, it's not going to make me feel better. I'm not going to feel content with that knowledge. It's just going to be like a mild annoyance of, oh, I guess that's what this is from. Okay. You know, but congratulations. You did get it. It was, it was a Men in Black thing. Yes. <laughs> They're multiplying. Shouldn't this be hot? Probably. And I'll whack her with the fangirl stampede, scoring me four points. Well, I will lure Neko-chan to me by using the Yaoi manga and plushies. This gives me six hearts, so I'll whack her with the bucket of water <laughs> and the fish. <laughs> what? Bucket of water? Oh, you were expecting a joke about a wet cat girl using a different word for cat. 
Well, you get nothing. Oh. Instead, I get to score my fish and my bucket of water for nine points because there's the bucket like, of water. There's like no charisma here. He's like making jokes that could maybe be told in a funny way. Like if it was somebody funny telling them, but he's got just no presence at all. God, it's just such a shame sometimes you see these people like, man, you just did not have the... Uh, it's not like you couldn't have had the presence. You, you could have you know, gotten better at it, but you just didn't now have the, have what it takes to be imitating Doug Walker. I mean, say what you will about him, but he is, in his own way, a fairly charismatic guy. Water makes the fish this six not... instead of zero. Ha! Beat that. Oh, I will, cartographer. I will. I okay, will. but first I gotta wrap it up. The game ends when all the cards are gone. Whoever has the most points wins. It's a pretty fun game to play in a group, especially if you have a bunch of otaku. M Magic Mush says lots of playing with himself on stream like DSP. You know, if you think about it, that's true. And then DSP Gaming says, I'll do it again. I hope he does. I hope that's the real Phil, too. Like, that would be so good. I, it's not, obviously. I mean, but maybe it is. Maybe it is, though. Man, I love Phil. Phil. Phil's so great. Phil is the best of us. Be with you, because everybody knows the inside jokes, and it gets hilarious. It's probably not a good game to play with your parents, though, because they'd probably be weirded out by cards like Tentacle. Right, I'm the right. cartographer. Thanks for making this a great season. So his we'll be back next time to map out more secrets of the board and card game world on the Gamer's Atlas. Okay, so it is colonizer, like, roleplay, I guess, cosplay, because, like, he's just, haha, I'm the... I'm the cartographer. It's like he's Christopher Columbus or something. So does that mean all your maps are going to be wrong and you're going to like, you know, like ruin a lot of people's lives or whatever? Is that, I don't know. I guess, I guess. Um, well, that's this guy, uh, Gamers Atlas and uh, not, not a very charismatic individual. That's kind of a ripoff of, uh, Nostalgia Critic, here is kind of a ripoff of AVGN instead, I guess. This is from Mikey Spikey 200 This is his review of Action 52 across 13 parts. Um, part Here's part one. Let me tell you about a game so evil, a game so shit, and a game that is an embarrassment to the human race. The game I am talking about is, of course, Action 52. Hell yeah. Now, there has been many reviews for Action 52 in the past, but has anyone actually had the balls to sit through every level of every game on the cartridge? You see, this is what makes this review something special. It mm. has balls. Balls. Big balls. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm shout-outs to you for putting up with that, uh, at least. You know, I know I certainly wouldn't, um, but also a lot of those games don't work, so I guess that's, you know, that's fine. You played every level you could. So. The Dutch Angle Nerd. Okay, so, so, that's cool. Montage. Well, as you can probably tell by the front cover, Action 52 is supposed to be a compilation of 52 games in one cartridge. However, this isn't quite what it is. It is, in fact, a PILE OF SHIT! Every single game- Hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to use the stream deck because it sucks now. I was going to do the whole da 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 but no, never mind. Never. Game on the cartridge is a fucking No match. need for that. There's way too many glitches. The majority of the games are virtually unplayable or they're way too difficult. A lot of the games crash for no particular reason. The games themselves are uncreative. Well, this doesn't seem particularly bad or, <clears throat> or anything. He's not even really screaming shitload of fuck. Actually, why is this image here? Ridiculous. I mean, can you think of any other NES cartridge that looks like this? The rest of them were grey, so the Action 52 cartridge stands out like Boy George in the oh, middle of the fucking snow. I see. And trust me, that would stand out a lot. But it's simple things like that that put the customer off buying the game. Not to mention the ridiculously high price of 199 Yeah, he's just telling the whole story of this thing. It's not, uh, probably the most interesting thing for a stream like Level this. 3. Same shit again. What more can be said? Level 4. I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, this seems to be just a, a perfectly ordinary video. I, it, it seems like it's aged better than some. Uh, he's not, he's not in fact screaming shitload of fuck every three seconds, so. 
Um, I guess that's good. It just reminds me of that guy, uh, Stan Birdman, who used to be, like, an AVGN clone. He apparently, like, I don't know, he got cucked and went insane or something. There's, like, Stan Birdman lore from, like, long ago. I, I remember him. I remember him. Mm. I probably watched this back in the day. Because I watched a bunch of people like Stan Birdman before I ever actually watched AVGN. Because I don't think I was aware that that's what AVGN was. That I was just, like, aware of other people that were like him. And I was like, bad game review or whatever in, like, 2008. And I'd get stuff like that. I, I, I might have seen this. I might have seen this. Um, let me see here. Are people able to do super chats? Has that been, like, disabled? Because somebody said it was not working before. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about all that. Um, let me see here. What was the next thing I was going to do? Um, I, uh, I had, okay. Right, I had Super Vor. I had, uh, I had some things planned. Yeah, the Maroon recap thing. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this one, which I now can't click on. Oh, yeah, but I have it in my history. It's the Malaysian Airlines video. Where is that? Um, Mystery of Malaysia Flight 370. Uh, okay, actually, wait, hang on. No, the next video is going to be more Origami Kingdom. Sorry, sorry to put that one off more. This video might be funny, but I just realized that I do, in fact, have something very important to share with you all. Um... So somebody earlier said that the user who made the um, the the Origami King member who made the uh, famous 9/11 uh, tribute video that we just watched recently, where it was like dogs eating dog sixes, little Origami King character, um, PNG right next to the the collapsing twin towers. Um, I uh, I uh, have a cool cool video here. Uh, from from Astro Boy Productions, which sounds pretty similar to uh, the uh, the the classic um, the the classic uh, uh, Omni King's rant from Dogs Eating Dog Six. Uh, this is somebody mentioned it earlier that he has an hour long video, like screaming at some kind of in some kind of rando on the internet, and he does indeed. Uh, this is why VTuber Catboy Josue Me is a criminal. And, uh, it's got, f a th it's got 2,000 views almost from four months ago. Hey guys, it's finally after so long. The rant is finally completed. I hope that you guys are enjoying the rant video, so make sure that you guys leave all dislikes on that idiot user's content. Well, you're not allowed to say that, sir. You're not allowed to dislike brigade people. That's against the rules. And make sure to report him or her multiple times. Maybe they deserve the reports. Maybe this is like a monkey hater. Um, and some goes with his or her uh, other YouTube, uh, other channels on YouTube and TikTok too. And be sure to support me and my friends as well. And this is all one sentence, by the way. Uh, and make sure to leave a hashtag stop anime VTuber. So stay tuned for more videos on my channel too. And my name is Astro Boy. Blasting off and I'll see you soon. That was all one sentence. I like that. Um... So, yeah, whoever this fucking person is, who, whoever you are, um, okay, yeah, the super chats are working. Somebody was having trouble before, so I don't know if that was just him, I guess. I think that was Griff was having some trouble. Uh, yeah, sometimes you have, um, uh, th thank you, by the way, two, two bucks, Victor, and, and Vomit Omelet. This is a test. Just curious to see if it was dis disabled. It's, it's working. Uh, I guess, yeah, sometimes people have issues with the super chats. They put in a word, and it, like, it'll, I think what it does, it takes your money, and then it just doesn't show it because it's like bad word sorry sorry you didn't know that we banned that word we'll take your money as a, as a joke you know i think it actually does that um also uh five euros from rio saiba this is just a test so uh hello there claw i also i have too much uh, time and money these days also hokuto no ken is manliest anime there ever was i you know i have no complaints about hokuto no ken it's a, it's a good well it's a i mean I guess it's a good anime. I was reading it more than I was watching it. Uh, it, you know, I, I, I remember I was reading it and I got past the Shin stuff and I was like, wait, wait, he's just, I don't know. I don't need spoilers. 
But, like, I, I was very surprised that it seemed like he was just dead very quickly. Because the first thing I ever, uh, I, the first way I ever engaged with, um, uh, Fist of the North Star was with the Lost Paradise game, the, the Yakuza spinoff. And, like, he's, like, the main villain of that, and he's all throughout it, and I'm like, oh, well, this has got to be, like, the main guy. No, he's dispatched pr fairly quickly. And then they move on to, like, other people. I don't know, it was, it was pretty good. I haven't read it in a little while, though. I'm, uh... You know, I took a break from reading a lot of things, because... Oh, oh, plane! 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 Hang on. It's cool. Good plane. Good plane action right there. Uh, I took a break from le reading a lot of things, because uh, I don't really know why, because I just have trouble sometimes focusing. And uh, now I'm getting back into One Piece, and, uh, you know, whenever that's... Oh, it works for Griff now. Two bucks. Test, test. One, two, one, two. There you go. Yeah, sometimes it'll just... You put in a penis word and they don't let you say it. Um, yeah, I'm getting back into One Piece. I'm probably going to read some other stuff, uh, other manga and stuff after that. I'm also trying to read more, like, books and stuff, too. Short stories also, because, you know, I'm writing more now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Hokuto no Ken is good. I gotta read more of it, certainly. I was... I remember watching an episode of uh, Fist of the Blue Star. Or what is it? F Fist of the Blue Sky... The, like, sequel series. I hear it's not as good, but I was just curious, and it was, like, it was kind of boring. But that was just episode one. I don't know. It might have it gotten better. It's, it seems like a fun premise, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna find out why this random anime VTuber catboy person, who is also a me and a Splatoon character, is, uh, is a criminal. And evidently this video has, like, all of his friends in this video clowning on him. This is, like, a recurring thing that these people do. Like, I'm just gonna make a video that calls you a criminal for an hour and has a bunch of people calling you a piece of shit and all these ang- an angry Jason Gomez dinosaur. And an angry- this is the other dinosaur who fucks Rosa- uh, Lucina, sorry. Um, and- and yeah, we've even got a gotcha life over here, it looks like, so. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, well, I don't know what this is. Somebody says he has subscribers. You're talking about the person they're going after. I have never fucking heard of this person. If they, if he, if this is punching up, then I guess there's some, there's then that's something. Not that I like to use that fucking cat, that that fucking phrase. But like, if that's, if this is them going after not just like a five year old on, you know, because that's that's the that was the Omni King situation was like, just a, a a a bunch of people clowning on some like random fucking either children or just idiots on the internet uh and uh yeah i don't know i don't know if this is like a famous anime vtube cat boy hey, hey. Okay, hey. is this like a fucking what is this like a fucking rap song about astro boy hey guys it's me astro boy Hey everyone, it's me! Oh fuck, oh god, oh god, oh god, I just wanted to make a- That's what I get for making a Sniper Wolf reference, I get a fucking- I get a fucking jump scare. And, uh, we have a situation on our hands. And it's a lot worse. Because we have a new enemy in town. A new enemy. That's right, folks. A new enemy has come in to frame me and my friends. A new enemy. And that's enemy. why we're going to rent- on a user. A new enemy has come in, and that's why we're going to rant on a user. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a drug user. Maybe this is like a, a just say no type thing. I don't know. Um. Cool song, dude. Yeah. This was a user that keeps bashing in on us when we had nothing against him or her. Damn. To tell you the truth, guys, we were minding our own business. We were just minding our own business. Not a care in the world. Hey, 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 hey. Until this guy keeps framing us when we had nothing good music. to do with him or her. And also to tell you this, guys, this user also refused to give us some answers to tell us why he or she hates Super Origami Kingdom. <laughs> this user refused to be uh, f f fucking 
fucking interrogated about why they're being, uh, why they're trolling us, I, I guess. Because one of my friends named KTPG Gaming was trying this to get some user. answers from this idiot user. Idiot this user. this user refused to give him some answers. What a fucking and user. And what Dog City Dog? He asked him for answers, but the user refused to give answers. Damn. Six told me before that this idiot user. This idiot is user. A criminal. Plus, really? This user is also the opinion basher because he uh -huh. never agreed on my friend's opinions during the oh. rents on every bad movies that we- Oh man, this is like almost... I don't know, chat. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I don't know. Is speaking of punching down... <laughs> Fuck, dude, this is, uh, opinion bashers. Yeah, every bad movie is, I don't know. This is almost too funny. <laughs> I just... I mean, I'm not even gonna stop watching it. I just, this is fucking hilarious. We have never supposed to watch. And this user really reminds me and my friends about... <sighs> Dare I say it. The Omni Kings that we fought against. Left. I knew it. I knew it. The fucking Omni Kings. Only for I knew they would reference them. It's a, it's the same. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. Some uh, fuck, fuck. Last year, and just like the three of them, this user is also the attention seeker. And all of my friends agreed that this user is really worse than those three Omni Brats. Wow, he's even worse than the Omni Brats, even though at least one of them seemed to be an adult. I had somebody arguing that in the comments, uh, like, last night uh, I saw it. And they were just like, yeah, I don't know, there's not really any proof. That guy might just be, like, an old-looking, like, a teenager with facial hair. And I guess it's possible, but one of them at least says that he's 28. And the other one looks like an adult, and only one of them is visibly a child. So, like, I don't know. It is a weird situation with the Omni King. Whatever is going on there is not is not what should be going on there. Um, but this guy's worse than all of that. All of that. Go, all none of that. Fucking. I'll forget. Forget it. Forget all of it. And my friends and I are very, very tired of this user framing us and attempting to shut down Super Origami Kingdom. We keep ignoring him to pretend he doesn't exist, but yet this user keeps doing this to us every single day. And not only that, that this user has 14 hate videos in total, which clearly that is way over the limit. Oh man. And for what I have to say, guys, let he- oh, yeah, you're right. The chat member who was like, I mean, he has subscribers. Are you talking about this guy who has 31 subscribers? This, hmm. I can't imagine. I just can't imagine, like, getting all your, like, the effort it takes to edit this shit, too. Getting all your fucking friends together to do this just because they're, like, leaving mean comments or whatever. Jesus Christ. Kari and I are fed up with this user. And it's time that this needs to end right now. Is it that right, Lance? Yeah. yeah, you're right, Mega Man. This guy <laughs> really needs to put it. Yeah, you're right, Mega Man. <laughs> and do it right now. That's right. We cannot deal with this anymore. And it's time that this must end. This user. I have to say that this guy always keeps posting terrible content on his or her channel. Cringe. If this user keeps posting terrible cringe, <laughs> this user would definitely lose subscribers if this You're user going to lose subscribers! Cringe. <laughs> this feels like it was written by an AI. I mean, look at all these hate videos that this user made. Those yeah. are just terrible. As the chat member said, you're the, he, they made 14 hate videos. The maximum is 12. I'm afraid to let you know, anime Josue Catboy GF or whatever your name is. Content! Like really, these hate videos are all nothing but cringe. Just cringe. Personally, Gio, I have to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just calling calling these videos cringe and then it's like yes i shadow the hedgehog agree with you <laughs> this user 
always keeps posting oh my God. content on his or her channel. <laughs> you think that this user deserves more population than chat? Super or chat, why is it that why is it that I just have infinite content with these people? This is unbelievable. There's it never ends. Every time we look at a, at, at at Origami Kingdom people, it's always funny. It's always funny. Origami Kingdom has. Well, if I ever see that this idiot's face, I would immediately destroy him with my Chaos Blast. Yeah! And this for shock and discovery, this user also hates one of the most iconic animated series that was made from Japan. Me might say oh, this, because this user's name had the letter ANIME. I mean, like, okay, so now Goku. Is this, like, in character as Goku, I guess? I, I assume it is. This is the same thing Dogs Eating Dogs 6 does, where he, like, pretends to have, like, he has characters, and he, like, voice acts them, basically. Um, and so, like, this is him, I guess, voice act. This is Astro Boy, which, who's already an anime character. You can't just double dip. Like, you can't be Astro Boy as Astro Boy, and then Astro Boy as, like, Goku. That's stupid. But, I guess this is supposed to be Goku. I think it's Astro Boy playing him. And, uh, he's, he's dictating to him about how he's a bad anime fan because he doesn't like fucking Madoka Magica or something, I guess. Um, okay, okay. Just, we're all on the same page here. So does this mean that this user hates all anime? The letter, oh! wait. Wait. Because this user's name had the letter anime. It has the letter anime. The letter anime. Damn, dude, I just... Like, every frame is so dense. Every... I know it's... It's, it's funny, haha, he, he said the, the word letter instead of word. You know, funny. But it's like everything... There's just always something in this video. And in, in, in all of these videos, it's like you can go just literally like frame by frame and find something funny. So does this mean that this user hates all anime? Anime BCD... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. If he hates one, then that means that he hates all of them. <laughs> and not to mention... Wait, wait, what? Are you... Is that a joke? Wait, hang on, what? This user hates all anime? <laughs> the joke... Is he making a joke? <laughs> like, wait, are you... Wait, what the fuck? This is so dumb, I can't tell if it's... Because obviously that's not... What? Like, th it's very, very obvious that that does not mean that he me he hates all anime. But, like, that's so obvious that this has to be a joke, but I just don't know if it is, though. I just- I just can't be entirely sure that it is, and I- And if it is, I don't know what the point is of the joke. I don't- what? Yeah, that's right. If he hates one, then that means that he hates- all of them. What? And not to mention, this user. It's a guy. D welcome, certified sicko, den of delusion. Yeah, we've entered the den of delusion over here. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but welcome uh, to the to the to the madness. Um, yeah, imagine if it's all just a trolling operation. I mean, this th that would be wild if it was if it was. I has also been stealing content without even giving credits to them. Me might have to say this, that giving credits to the users is the best solution to tell the these creators. users that you have been mentioned onto their channels. But this user did not give credits to them. Therefore, that this user is this user a thief and a dangerous criminal. A dangerous criminal. He will steal Gotcha Life videos again, goddammit. While I was looking on this user's content, look at all this. Friday Night Funkin' videos? Wow. This user just stole those musics from Friday Night Fun- Dude, you- all of the characters you're using, like Shadow the Hedgehog, are not owned by you. Mega Man NT Battle Warrior or whatever is not owned by you. So, like, why are you calling out these people for stealing when ultimately so are you? And ultimately, 
who gives a shit without giving credits and they're all cringe and might have to say that this user was also trying to avoid copyright by using these music from Friday Night Funkin without giving credit. Man, this music in the background is pretty good, but it sure is loud and repeating frequently and um and just sure is happening a lot. Oh, there's a lot of this music for 6 minutes. Not only that, this user has also been stealing Astro Boys and his friends profile pics to make them cry and anim We're doing the thing again where <sighs> Where he is not Astro Boy, everybody. He is, um, I guess Lan or whatever from fucking Mega Man now. I think that's Lan right now. Um, he's, he, he's not, totally not the guy who's talking. He's in a, he's in different character mode right now. He's method acting, so you just wouldn't understand. May VTubers so-called friends laughed at them for such stupidity. Yeah, Maria Renard from Castlevania. I don't even fucking know, man. Just assume that everything that you potentially like is probably being used and abused by these people. <laughs> Maria Renard, what do you hear? <laughs> what? 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 Why are they all so loud? Why are they all? What is this? Do you think this is funny? Do you think this is funny? Shut up! You're like the 26 millionth person to type this fucking joke into the internet. Do you think people care? No, you dumbass. You're like the 26 millionth person to. Copy my me and my friends' uh, profile pictures and then laugh at them in a gotcha life meme. Uh, I have a lot of experience with this. God damn it! You're not. This is nothing special to me. Let me warn you: if you ever type that sentence again, yeah, he's stealing SMG4 right now. He bro 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 be stealing. I mean, he maybe he credits it, but like, I don't know. Does it really even matter that much that you credit it? Like, ultimately, I you, you know, you're just. You're using something that isn't yours, you know, you could make your point a little bit better if you weren't, like, doing the exact thing that you're claiming that he is doing. Like, ah, oh, he steals his footage of this and that and blah blah blah, like, okay, if the whole thing is just that he doesn't say who uploaded it or whatever, I mean, it's kind of, that's not the problem when people do that, not, I mean, not necessarily, with Sniper Wolf it is. A lot of the time it's just like, why are you not more creative in your own way like why can't you make something without stealing other people's footage or something uh so like why can't they just make an original joke here or skit instead of stealing shit from smg4 you know and i'll know and next time i will eat your limbs do you understand you putrid yeah. Watch me get copyright claimed for the fucking SMG4 video. That's really way too far to do something like that. And do you know what that could lead to? Bullying could lead to suicide. This is the same thing that they fucking said in that um, the, uh, Omni Kings video. Repeatedly, they said that the 10 year olds that are calling me poopy on the internet could bully me into suicide. And I just don't know that if you are aware of this and your friends are aware of this, you, Dogs Eating Dog 6, the other people in this video and his video, and all the commenters who all think that this is perfectly fine, and all of your fans who think it's perfectly fine, none of you recognize that the hour-long video you're making right now is also constituting bullying? You don't think that that might also be bullying? If you feel so strongly about bullying leading to such things, you'd think you would be a little more careful about that. But I guess you don't care if they kill themselves? And neither really, this user doesn't even care if it's- so Watch out, you're gonna make me slip into a noose! Uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, it's all over, all because of the bullying. Side or not, but still, this user has no this user? rights to bullying- Okay, so wait, it's not even from SMG4, the audio's from fucking Psychic Pebbles, apparently. So it's like multiple layers of theft.
which I'm sure he totally credits. Does he credit it? No, he sure doesn't. Oh, 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 but okay, all the clips you saw, they're not mine. They belong to owners. That's cool. Wow. I love this. I just love this. This this whole fucking thing that both of them, him and fucking Dogs Eating Dog 6, just went off about like, You're not crediting the creators! Neither are you, cunt! Neither are you, and you're just stealing shit, and you can't fucking point the finger while you're doing the same fucking thing. Fuck off. Innocent good users are run on YouTube, or neither on TikTok. Oh yeah. yeah, he totally credited. I think that's even worse than just forgetting to put up any credit. Person's 15, by the way. Person is a, is a minor that you're bullying. I mean, you would assume that all these people are also minors, but you'd be fucking probably wrong based on what I've seen so far. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, <laughs> God, man, God. Yeah, this isn't bullying. This is, this is, this, wow. There's a run on YouTube. Oh, it's no. like if you you just forget the you just forget the credit for your thing that's fine, but to just to to knowingly be like hey yeah whatever credit to the creators yada yada yada, that's like that that's like you're just lazy like you, you fu you're just fuck you I mean basically fuck you, like what a pile of shit what a fucking pile of shit amazing that that's your complaint. And they're on TikTok. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys that. Anime VTuber has a TikTok account as well. So go check that out and make sure to block that and report that on TikTok as well. And not to mention, this user also has this user. three accounts. Two on YouTube and even three on TikTok. Which two are the same ones on both YouTube and TikTok and the third one is just only on TikTok. So the other channel that this user has is Anime Cat both on YouTube and TikTok. Yeah, we are just third. straight up brigading this person at this point. I mean, this is directly saying, go go down thumb all their videos, here are their accounts. This is against the rules. Like, you you don't seem to recognize that you have broken infinitely more rules than... Not only have you broken the, own, the your own fucking rules that you're complaining that they have broken by not crediting people, but you are also actively breaking YouTube's, like, terms of service with this video. And they are not by saying that your videos are stupid or whatever. That's not harassment or bullying. That's just like a meme or a troll. Uh, or just somebody's opinion, maybe. This is going out of your way to, to belittle people and shit on them and imply violence toward them. And tell people to go be mean to them. And wow. You can't even conceive of how you are wrong here. Amazing. One is Anime Girl, which is only on TikTok. And make sure to go both of those accounts and block and report at those as well uh -huh. so that way this user won't get on to you guys as well yeah 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 we gotta make sure we gotta make sure here's shadow the hedgehog to endorse this we gotta make sure that we block and report them so that they don't accident so i guess they don't find us as fans of this guy they'll 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 prey on us as uh fans my anime girl me tiktok is so this is like a is this like a wait is this even the same person this appears to just be a young like a teenage girl is this like if this is supposed to be the same person then this is the person and it's just like a teenage girl and they're sending like all this hate towards her that way this user won't get on to you guys as well this user is such a fool and an idiot <laughs> he's <laughs> just so pathetic neither than that this user will never be more better than Super Origami Kingdom. Never more better. Super Origami Kingdom will remain strong and be as better than that. It'll be as better. It'll be even more as better. -er. Fuck you. Stupid anime VTubers channel. To think that this user wants Astro and his friends channel and including Super Origami Kingdom to be cancelled? Hmm. I don't think so. They never cancelled anything, and I mean <laughs> anything. Anything. Because Anime VTuber says that, which technically, that is a lie. Now let's see what this <laughs> poster really says about this idiot user. This idiot user. And the user. attempts are. Oh, it's, uh, uh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Anime VTuber Catboy Josue Me, worse than Satan, a selfish criminal who is accused of framing good users, telling lies, cyberbullying. Framing, by the way. That's the same thing that they claimed that the fucking ten-year-olds did in that other video. They're framing me. Look, my hour-long video telling you to go block and report these people is 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 gonna explain how they're framing me to look like a crazy, a crazy person, a crazy bully. Uh, stealing videos without giving credit. You've done the same thing. Um, uh, f uh, giving credit. Uh, bashing opinions. That's not a crime. A criminal who is accused of bashing opinions. By the way. Literally just thought crime. False accusations, uh, which I, whatever. Being a sociopath, being insufferable, spreading false rumors, conspiracy, and attempting to shut down Super Origami Kingdom. This user can go to hell as he should be YouTube's hated pariah, is what it says there at the bottom. This is a One Piece bounty sheet, by the way, I just realized. I, that's, that's pretty cool. A selfish criminal who is accused of framing good users, telling lies, Cyberbullying. Oh, he's gonna read the whole thing for us. That's cool, bro. You have stolen so much without giving any credit, but though, you can fuck off. Better for anime VTuber. <laughs> anime VTuber, more like anime pooper. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now that's a funny meme. Now that's a funny meme. <laughs> Okay, somebody needs to make that into a funny meme. Just put that at the end of anything you say ever and just, now that's a funny meme. That's pretty good. For this idiot user to have. And like what Astro said earlier from before, anime VTuber, just like the Omni Brats, this user the is brats. definitely the attention seeker. And this user- I love how this guy who seems to, he sounds like he's just American. But he sounds like, it's like an American person reading a transcription of like a, a, an Indian scammer. He's the bad user, ma'am. You have the virus, ma'am. Like, like it, he's speaking in broken English, even though it's like his first language. He's acting like a child because this user wants to have more attentions than Super Origami Kingdom has. More well, attentions. I have to say, this user this does not user. deserve any attention because he or she is an idiot. He or and she is an idiot. Likes his or her content, and this like what user. Gio said before, like you can't. All... You haven't even done the fucking due diligence to find out this person's fucking gender or whatever. You keep saying he or she. J Jason Gomez is coming up, by the way. He or she, they or them or whatever. It's like. It, it, uh, okay, it doesn't say here, but you do see here, if this is supposedly them, this is just a teenage girl. Like, my anime girl me TikTok. Like, the ev you can see right here, you don't have to say he or she, this user, the entire time. You can just fucking say it. But okay, anyways, what does Jason Gomez have to say? Well, no, we can't skip anything. This whole thing is too funny. This user does not deserve any attention. Because... He or she is an idiot. They are an idiot. And nobody likes his or her content. And like what Gio said before, they're all cringe. Like what who said before? They're cringe. Right. Right. I think that's all what we are going to say. All right, Astro, back to you. Amazing. Thank you, Mega Man. Le Thank you, Mega Man. That wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Hikari, Gio Stellar, oh. Shadow the Hedgehog. And Goku. Oh, oh, thank you to all my friends. Yeah, um, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I was, like, confused at first. I'm like, wait, that was Goku. That wasn't Mega Man. But no, he was thanking all of them. He was thanking the full cast of friends. You guys did a good job of exposing... I'm, also, I'm only here for Jason you. Gomez, yeah. All right, now it's time to let my friends have a turn. My friends. So first off, I would let my number one best friend... Jason Gomez. Yeah! All right, Jason, you're up to go. Thanks for having me, <laughs> I guess. I guess. See, do you even want to be here? What is happening? Hey, guys. It's Jason Gomez, the dinosaur. And you already know why I'm not in, in a mood like this. Mm. <clears throat> I'm just going to get started right away. So... 
Bro. If you saw an Astro's committee post or not. Bro, we can't understand that you. Anime VTuber made hate videos of my friends in Super Organic Kingdom. He really needs to. They need to turn down this fucking jabroni music, or he needs to get a fucking. Not even a better mic, just make the mic louder. Make his audio louder. You spent time editing this fucking hate video against these children. This children. This one. Oh, this one children. You, you spent all this time, you couldn't fucking level the audio. And now he made 14 hates. And then he also added me. Well, the thing is, it's con it's conflicting because the music is the best, uh, the, like the unironic best part of the video. It's, it's good. I like the music. But it's also, yeah, it's very annoying. <laughs> it's just getting in the way of what we're trying to pay attention to and it's really loud and like... I don't know what game it's from, but it's uh, it doesn't necessarily belong here. Like, really? What's his problem? We done nothing wrong to anime VTuber. Like, what's his problem? Why does he hate us? If someone had comments, ask anime VTuber why he hates us. He doesn't want to talk about it. Like, what do we do? What do we do to you, anime huh, huh, VTuber? Huh. We didn't do anything. We have done nothing. Statistically speaking, we have done no... We have done nothing to deserve this. Um, before we made this long video about you, I guess. That, you know, maybe that was... Maybe we did that. Um, but before that, I mean, that was the last straw, though. That was... You pushed us that far. We did nothing. We did nothing. And again, by doing nothing and, like, the, what they mean by getting harassed or whatever they think that... This is the same exact thing that happened with the Omni Kings. It's literally just, like, somebody leaving them, like, mean comments and saying their videos are silly or whatever. And they, they just cannot deal with it. And, of course, because this person has, like, 30 subs and is a child, they're willing to, like, make this hour-long bully video about them. But when I talk shit about them and I say that they've got a bunch of problems and that they should deal with their problems and that they should stop making videos bullying children. Yeah, real radio silence and, like, apologies and stuff all of a sudden. That's, that's funny. And what do you do? You start to hate making hate videos of me, Astro, and all of my friends. And so is a super hard My Nakama. What's your problem? I'm starting to hate you as oh. a VTuber. Don't say that! And There's no, never a good I'm reason to hate. Fury because that would be really rough for me. Otherwise, I, I can't hear you! <sighs> well, I'm not gonna say much, but I will say it to the end. But I have some of my team that are really mad at Oh my god, it's just that. another song. So, start off. With Dark Bowser Jr. Oh, here we go. All right, Dark Bowser Jr. Come on, Dark Bowser Jr. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me, Jason. Uh, this whole video is going to be like this, isn't it? Um, Yeah, ball bombs. Oh, here's the pony, everybody. Is this going to be Jason Gomez voicing the pony? This is good. This is good stuff. Hang on. Hang on. We're going to skip past all this. What do we got here? Here's King bob -omb. Okay, I think I'm done for now. Jason, back to you. Alright, thank you Dark Bowser Jr., huh. Goombas, and King bob -omb for renting and exposing Edmund VTuber. Oh my god, I just, it's like the fact that this is all so second nature to us at this point, like this doesn't even... Just like that, yeah. This is just what they do. I mean, I'm not, I'm like not even amazed or surprised at this point. Like, not in quite the same way, but I guess it still is like a, a an ongoing level of amazement. Like when I saw Shadow, but just man, just like yeah. Thank you, King Babam and Goomba for ranting about this user. You heard King Babam, guys. I did. To those who've been bullied and got hate videos from anime VTuber. Do us all a favor, block him and record him immediately. And anime VTuber, I, wait a minute, I got a call. Wait a minute. Oh, oh it's what's Luna. happening? It's Luna. Hey Luna, what's up? Oh. Oh. You're really mad about anime VTuber? Oh, you're yeah, really. We got two, two bucks from uh, e uh, evil. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. 
Two bucks from Evil Tomato Man. Can you let us hear all the impressions for a sec? Um, okay, fine. We'll 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 listen to some of these. This is twenty two fifty seven. We'll jump back. So here's the Dark Bowser Junior. And this is Jason Gomez doing the voices, so that this there is some value to this. You're you're right for making me go back. And on TikTok, like, what did they even do to animate YouTuber? We done nothing wrong. I mean, this is just what he was saying already, the Jason Gomez character, but now it's just him. It's just slightly harder to understand what he's saying. It was already very hard to understand what he was saying. What's your problem, anime VTuber? They've done nothing wrong! Nothing wrong! And what do you do? You make hate videos! did nothing wrong! Super Origami Kingdom! And then you wanted to be cancelled! Oh my god, okay, that's enough of that. Here's the Goomba. Junior! Greetings, everyone! I, Goomba, the king of all Goombas! I and then we just acknowledged like how funny it would be. We still haven't seen it yet, but there's not there has not been a situation yet where one of these like it's been like I Goomba the King of the Goomba and then you hear like a door opening and it's his mom bringing him tendies like that would be great and I feel like that's probably a that's probably in one of these somewhere and they just left it in and forgot to edit it out or didn't even fucking hear it in the past but like that I don't, I'm just hoping eventually we th th fingers crossed that might happen this week. really mad because anime VTuber yeah I'm really mad. It's just getting louder and louder. Here's the bub bomb. It's cringe. It's Your cringe. videos are cringe. The hate videos I'm talking about. And Super Origami Kingdom is gonna stay forever. It will not be cancelled. <laughs> but why do you- Well, when was this posted? This was April 14th. Oh. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, this was around when I would have- probably talked about it i remember there was a thing i was confused by from astro boy productions where he was talking about like you know who is watching the channel and i was like is he talking about me i think he's actually talking about this cat boy anime person um because yeah this seems to be an ongoing problem that was happening it was around that time that he posted that um yeah this is not as good of a video by the way as the um the omni kings video i don't know if you've picked up on that like it's it's just not as good like say what you will about that video at least it posted like clips of the kid like it posted clips of the the omni kings people this is just like we're just gonna have to take your word for it that this person is such an evil criminal because you're not really showing that many examples and the examples that you are showing you're then later all like oh he stole content for friday night funkin videos and then later you just steal like an smg thing and a um psychic pebbles thing and mash them together so like um yeah really not a great video compared to even the fucking omni when your video is le is worse than the omni kings video like man you really hate us what's your problem if i see you make a hate video again i will throw bombs all the hate videos you made waiting for the dead wing dork call out vid well i mean you know from these people like they were all they i don't think they're going to that's why i said like this is a user this user uh has 31 subscribers the the omni kings had like you know 20 sub subscribers or something hundreds couple hundred between them probably and uh when i made my thing it was just immediate like radio silence and like then an apology from a fake apology from dogs eating dog six like um I, I don't know if it's somebody bigger than them like i don't see i i don't i don't see them necessarily trying to trying to tackle that um i i don't think that there's much what i mean i don't know what they would be able to say like you're imagining it i guess in your head as like this video but it would be me instead instead of the anime vtuber person and be like this user has been bullying the origami kingdom and and i mean it would be like well you know but if you show any footage it would be perfectly legitimate criticisms of of you guys so they're kind of not in a position to do that with me so i don't know 
Yeah, you heard me, everyone. I will throw bombs at the haze video that anime means you were made. Okay, I don't even know what you're saying, dude. So, uh, 20, 20 something minutes in, we get to uh, Jason and uh, and Luna. And got hate videos from. Oh, it's Luna. It's Luna. Hey, Luna. What's up? This music is so fucking loud. Holy shit. Like. I can't hear myself fucking think, let alone hear what he's fucking saying. Oh. You're really mad about an enemy VTuber? Oh, you're really triggered, are you? Oh, you have something to say to anime VTuber? Yeah, they, she has something to say! Uh, okay then. Hey, Astro. Luna is coming. Do you think Luna's she's coming. going to? Well, sure. She can join in. Yeah, she's really triggered. You're really triggered, aren't you? Alright. Oh, I can hear Luna. Oh boy. She's gonna really triggered. <laughs> Alright, Luna. She's gonna really triggered. Get ready. So Luna is the pony. And exposing anime VTuber. Glad I was able to make it. Oh my god, she's even harder to hear. This is a fucking comedy of errors. This is like, this is, this is like airplane, but it's like not intentional. Um, so yeah, this is his waifu, by the way. If you're not familiar with Jason Gomez lore, uh, his waifu is, uh, Lu Luna Pony or whatever. I don't know if this is a real pony. I think it is. Um, but she, she's, uh, in love with him and they're together. And, uh, here she is. She has also got some problems. She's got some beef with the anime VTuber. And thank you, Astro, for having me here today. I I'm glad to be here. Alright, let's get started. Oh. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Princess Luna. It is absolutely unbelievable that the music is so loud. Like, this is- you cannot tell me that nobody told you that this- that the music was too loud. Like, even when I can hear the fucking person, even when I can hear this user, like, like, Astro Boy guy sounds fine. He, his mic is fine. Um, but it's still fucking too loud for him. And then it's Jason Gomez. You can't even fucking hear him. This late, this fucking pony, you can't even fucking hear her. She's even worse. She's even worse. And I'm here to rag on this idiot user named Anime VTuber. Now. Is this person even an adult? You mean the person voice acting now? I don't know. Don't know! Because, uh, I, uh, I mean, the person that they're ranting about is apparently a 15-year-old girl. So, like, yeah. I do believe that uh, this to say? has made terrible hate videos about Super Origami Kingdom, and even to the members themselves. Therefore, this user does not deserve any population. This user does not deserve any population. So, uh, do you think that he just got his, like, little sister to do this for him or something? Like, what, what do you, what do you think with, with this? Because this, he, he, I mean, it might be a voice changer. He definitely wrote it, or somebody wrote it for her, because all this, this user shit. Isn't that just the way Astro Boy keeps referring to her? So maybe Astro Boy wrote this part, and I don't know, maybe he's got a voice changer. I'm super Origami Kingdom. Yeah, no population. Better than that idiot user's channel. And might as well, I say, this user also been stealing every user's contact without This user, any again, it's like listening to, like, uh, one of the Indian scammers. This user been stealing a lot of content, ma'am. You gotta get the VPN, ma'am. You, you you know I don't I don't know like it's but it's like but it's but it's but it's like American people saying these things, and it's it's like I I don't know it's very strange. Credits to them. This user is a thief, and I believe that yeah, it's this like a chat GPT script. Be reported to YouTube. It could easily have just been all chat GPT. Um, so she goes off for a while. Jason, Jason is here too. Keep it up, and you will get exposed again and again. If you keep this up, and you will get it big time. You'll get it big time! That's all I will say. Alright, back to you, Jason. Whoosh! Well, thank you, Luna. Jeez, your yelling was really loud. Huh, huh. But good job, anyway. Wait, her yelling was low? Where was the yelling? With his or her crying. 
against coming for a long time. You, is you are the yelling? just like what those omni brats. She's trying to read off of like a fucking thing. This is definitely not one of these people. It has to be like his sister or something. Because she doesn't know. She wouldn't need the script to tell her about those Omni brats. She's like stumbling over it. This is like his sister or maybe a, a, a gal pal he roped in. And the, and the yeah, she's Freedom yelling Fighters so loud. fought them from last year. Right, right. The Freedom Fighters. Okay, so uh, here's Jason. Big time. You will lose everything on your videos. Once you're gone on YouTube, you get nothing. Huh. You will lose. Good, Good day, day, sir. All right. Now I'm good for now. Huh. Huh. All righty, Astro. I'm done for now. You can continue right now. Bro, you. All righty, now I'm good for now. All right, I'm done for now. Astro Boy, you can continue for now. Thank you, Jason, Princess Luna, Dark Bowser Jr., Goombas, and King Babam. I love that every time they have to thank all of them, like it's the fucking. I, this is. It's just like last. Like yesterday, there was. We were watching something that was like, thank you. The. the it's the, the fuck. It's the fucking Waltons. It's the. It's the. Good night, good night, Mary Beth. Good night, Papa Lou. Like, thank you, thank you to everybody. Thank you and the rest. You guys did a good job, renting and exposing anime VTuber. All right, Pedro, you're up to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this video now. This is like a. Fucking 14 year old whose video quality is like 10p. This is the best that the video can look, by the way. This is um oh, this is this is only getting worse. I can't believe this. Say something, Pedro, please. Oh my god. Pedro! Bother me. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Bothers me. It bothers me a lot. Oh man, this is just not. I I just I just. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. By the way, subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. This is on. This is uh, This is just absolutely unlistenable. Like I can't imagine that they even. It's like I can't even imagine uploading this and hearing this and being like, "Yep, yeah, it sounds good. Ship it." Not to mention how he always pesters us over minuscule things. And he acts like he's in the right, always spamming our comments with unnecessary hate comments and slurs. Like Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get some cool. Is this like Undertale or something? Uh, one, one of those. Uh, that's that's cool. With everything we have. All right. Yourself, you big yeah, he just entirely gave up on even. I mean, I don't even want to hold it against this kid. He's clearly like an. Uh, he's clearly like a fucking fifteen-year-old, and he's like got something going on with him, you know. That uh, perhaps he's uh, you know somewhat challenged in some ways. Uh, but the fact that they just include this in this video, like it's it's more. It speaks more to. Astro Boy or whoever put this together for like including this. This is I'm sorry, this is not a good part of this video. It is unfucking fathomable. It is it is unfathomable that this video has only gotten worse. Well done, Pedram, and well Pedram. done, Stanton. You two did a good job rudging on anime VTuber, the idiot user. Alright. The, the next idiot person user. is up is Hamza. Hamza, you're next. Hi guys, it's me. Hi guys. Hamza. And this is my first rant video. Oh my god. And this rant is about you. So now we go from whatever that guy had wrong with him to this guy having an accent and the music is too loud. And he's like, this rant video. And, and you can't hear what he's fucking saying because of this fucking music. 
con anime vtuber who keeps framing super origami kingdom for no reason they framing and it what's worse he made a rant video a rant video kingdom. what is wrong with you oh oh anime vtuber why? Why? What did Super Origami Kingdom ever do to you? That's not very nice. <laughs> you can do this for no reason. Only content. This is. This is. I mean, it's just. It's just this person with like loud music, and they're like, "That's not nice." I mean, like. Hello and welcome to my rant video. I am uh my my name is Deadwing and I don't like the origami king I don't like them. They are mean and they are why would you be bullies? It's so mean to be a bully! Why would you do that? This video is like an hour, bro! You have posted cringe! You have posted cringe! And furthermore, your face is stupid, and frankly, Origami Kingdom, more like Poopy Mommy Kingdom, that's right! Anyway, here's why the Mario movie is good if you don't like wokeness. So, um, by the way, that's not even a reference to today's stream. There was one of the Origami Kingdom people who reviewed the Mario movie and said that the mainstream media doesn't like it because it's not woke. Um, that, that is, that is an, that is an origami kingdom adjacent person who we looked at, like, fucking a couple days ago on stream. Like I say, the, the, it never ends. It never stops being fun. And you hate them for, um, Tamato's favorite is, uh, anime ever. Well, okay, okay, we cannot hear you. It, it is very important. It is your daddy, but, but it was your head then. It's like you're being drowned in music right now. I anyway, guys. A anyway. You see this? Yeah. Anyway. Just report him multiple times and block him and put. Yeah. So many dislikes. Like it's amazing that Jason Gomez was the best speaker they could get in this video. But like, like it starts out with Astro Boy, and he's already talking on Wikipedia simple English. But then, then Jason Gomez comes in, and you can't even fucking hear him. But at least he can say words. And then you get the guy who didn't even edit his footage or anything. It was just him opening OBS and talking, and you couldn't hear him either. And now you get this guy, and it's just a picture of a fucking boo, and you can't even fucking hear anything he's fucking saying. And even if you can, his accent is so fucking thick. This is un- This is unfucking believable how it just keeps getting- Like, this is- This is like the seven circles of hell. All of these videos, did he say something about the CDC? I don't know! That was it, everybody. Thank you so much to... Uh... Fucking that guy. That- thank you. Thank you. Wait, it's good though. They, it's not stealing that they took that meme from some other guy's channel because they said credit to all original users in the fucking description. That's cool. Eat a dick. Go, Hamza. That was a spectacular Hamza. rant that you made about anime. That YouTuber. was a spectacular rant. It was such a good rant. I had to bury it behind the music for most of it so that you couldn't hear the truth that he was putting out there. Well done. All right. Next one is Jurassic Verse 64 himself. All right, Jurassic, you're up to go. Hey guys, Jurassic vs. 64 here. But my friends call me- Bro, where's Lucina? Does Lucina have stuff to say about them? No, she doesn't. Oh, I think this is the same guy who, who like lives on an island with Lucina in that one video. Jurassic for short. The Lucina Astro lover. Boy, I want to thank you for inviting me to your channel. <laughs> This seriously- Yeah, the guy in chat who apparently knows this dude, <laughs> like, I'm gonna say that's unlikely, but I guess you'd know better than me. So be pointed out right now. 
about anime VTuber Catboy Jows Me. This has to be the worst thing this little piece of shit huh, ever done. Trying to rant on and take down Super Origami Kingdom for no fucking reason at all. This user brings innocent people for something we didn't even do. Like, what have we even done to piss them off? Nothing! This entire, this entire video is just them going, What did we do to deserve this? You're stupid and ugly and I hate you! What did we even do? Like, bro, the whole video, the whole thing, every new person they jump to, the rant is the same thing. It's not like they all have different parts of the rant. It's not like they all have, you know, different elements to touch on individually. All right, here's this guy now to talk about, you know, this TikTok that they made or something. No, it's just all the same thing. They just all have to say, this user is bad and posting cringe. And that's it. And it's like five minutes of that or more. Or then they take it off and they put, they, they take it over to their fucking like dark Bowser or whatever. Like his villainous acts oh. is making hate. Well, we got uh, $50 from Wistato. Stumbled upon one of your Pamper Chew vids, and it was the best worst thing to ever happen to me on YouTube. Thanks for what you do. Well, you know, you're welcome. Thank you very much. That's great. I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, welcome to the stream. Uh, if you haven't seen anything from the Origami Kingdom, I can assure you that this is the next best worst thing that you will encounter. So, uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Thank videos you. on the SOK channel and all our rant videos that we do, even though we are about to start more positive videos. Just as soon as people stop trolling us, we're gonna make more positive videos. Well, bro, you might you might want to try to expedite that that second half of that process because I don't think the first one is gonna end anytime soon. He is no not that I would support it. It's just that by your own actions, like you are not doing thing. What you are doing right now is just going to lead to more people like this. Who are you talking about? Not even me and people watching me, but like. More people, this is, you were trying to handle a troll by an hour-long video begging to know what you did to deserve being trolled. Like, you will be trolled more, and for you to be like, oh, we're just waiting, if it wasn't for this, we'd be making pop, we'd make, be making positive videos. Like, they, they are going to be trolling you whether you're making those positive videos or not. You're going to have to learn to just deal with that and under and accept it. Bullying others does scare away with it and steals content without giving any credit whatsoever. Another example is when someone gives out their own opinion, not only he goes and disrespects others' opinions, but that right there is what I like to call opinion bashing. Jesus f***ing Christ! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! So what's but what's wrong with that? Like this is like genuine. Somebody says they are collectively a six-year-old. Yeah, like what? Like I get that your mommy told you that everybody is entitled to their own opinions or whatever, and that's fine. But like that also means that they're allowed to have opinions about your opinions. You. You, it's not that difficult of a concept to grasp. Like, that's the thing. I'm not asking for a lot from these people. I know that a lot of them might be, like, autistic or whatever. There's stuff going on. But, my God, it's not... We are... I'm not... I'm not asking for the world. I'm just asking for just decent, normal human behavior a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, just slightly closer to, 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 to human person normal. Normal adult human person. And despite anime being in the name, he hates Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Absolutely no f***ing reason at all, which makes him a huge hypocrite. But despite, wow, they really believe that. Like, if this isn't a joke, and I don't think it is, because it would mean that the Omni Kings, they, the, too many layers of joke, it's, it's, too, uh, it's too hard for me to believe that, but... If this isn't a joke, then they genuinely seem to believe that because he has the word anime or she or whoever has the word anime in their name, that that means they have to like all anime ever made ever. And if you dislike even one of them, that that makes you a hypocrite and a hater and a criminal. They actually believe this. Boka Magica is one of the greatest Japanese anime series of all time. 
during the fun. Yeah, I kind of wish we could just listen to the music. Yeah, I don't know what. I wish. I boy, I sure wish this user had credited the creators of this music. Boy, I sure wish the description for this video had said what the fucking music is and where it's from, instead of having to be copyright claimed to get the info. I guess it's whatever artist this is. Whatever this is from. Whatever anime or game this is from. Sure would be cool if they, if they, if they fucking credited the uploader, which is a big problem that they apparently have with this user that they're complaining about. Uh, sure would be cool. I'm genuinely wishing they had done that instead of just this fucking half ass like, oh yeah, credit to the creators, whatever. Fuck. Magical girls, which form the holy quintet. It's from the, it's one of the greatest anime of all time. Are you talking about this song right now? I, uh, I don't know, there's... Did you guys see the Rape Man anime? Oh, I'm her I'm aware of it. Music, yeah, I kind of assumed it was uh, Mega Man Battle Network. Yeah, I, I, I that would that would have been my guess that or like Ace Attorney or something because they were using Mega Man stuff earlier. That or like maybe Astro Boy game stuff. I'm sure it's not difficult to find the stuff. Uh, I gotta play more Mega Man Battle Network actually, but I'm sure it's not difficult to find the music. But it's just like it is annoying in this video where they're bitching. They spent a while bitching about that this person not crediting creators. That I am legitimately like, boy, I wish that you had create had fucking credited the music so I could know what this nice song is that I would rather hear over you sc fucking screaming. Madoka Konami, Yoko Sakura, Sayaka Miki, Mami Tamo, aka Tamatoa Zayama. So, oh, Tamatoa is involved. KH says, confused by Madoka being uh, Origami Kingdom approved since it seems like it would have a lot of things that would set them off. You'd think that like Game of Thrones would have more than just Ramsey Bolton set them off too. Like, you would assume that there would be more, uh, there would be a little bit more, you would, you would assume that there would be certain things that these folks would not watch, but they sure, they sure do. They sure do. Uh, including Madoka Magica. I mean, Madoka Magica is, I've seen a little bit of it, it's fine. I, I know, I, I know the twist, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's not really my thing, but, like, it's, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, it's no... I, I, I can't, I just, I can't imagine them, like, do, maybe they don't know, like, maybe they are literally, it's going over their head that it's about something deeper than what it is. Like, they don't recognize that it's not just a, like, a simple kid's, like, it might be that they're so, I don't want to say dumb, but, like, man, it, it might be that they're, that they have so little frame of reference for, like, m what Madoka Magica is trying to do, and, like, Game of Thrones and shit, that they just take it on, like, the most absolute possible surface level of, like, THAT MAN HAS A SWORD! THAT GIRL HAS MAGIC! Like, like, just the most basic... I can only assume that's what made them watch stuff like, like, D Dogs Eating Dogs 6 complaining about... Like, the only thing he had to complain about in Game of Thrones was Ramsay Bolton, who comes into play in, like, three seasons or four seasons in or something, which means that, like... Which means that, like, he watched at the very least one season, maybe he was in season two, at the very least one season of Game of Thrones. And had, like, no complaints other than, than that, that character later. It's, it's, it, it is fucking weird to think of. It's the same, Tomatoa Gaming does really into JoJo, and I was, like, confused. I was so confused that one time, just like, I don't know, JoJo is not, like, the most, you know, like, it's a fairly, you know, it's a childish, like, immature anime or whatever, but, like, I don't know, it's a little bit more complex than fucking Thomas the Tank Engine, you know, and I just can't imagine somebody watching both of those, like, in, e in equal, in, in, with, with equal, like, mindset, like, you're not, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's just, it's just strange, yes, the media that these folks can consume is, is confusing sometimes. My gal, and Hamura Akemi, I get that everyone has an opinion on something they don't like, but this hypocritical, egotistical monster decides monster. to take it to the wrong hands and bash it even harder than before. He takes it into the wrong hands and bashes it even harder. I mean, what? <coughs> Once again, <coughs> they keep saying, like, he or whatever. The only... Real proof either way was earlier on the user in question had posted a thing saying, like, <coughs> like a thing about their TikTok. 
and it was like my anime girl me or something and it was like a, a teenage girl so I, I just do I find it a little funny that they just continue they cannot even figure out who this person is that they're talking about they cannot do any amount of research or anything looking into who this person is they just want to like bully them and so they're not even they they're like directly misgendering this person and it's not even a, I don't even think it's a trans person. They're just so they're just not able to figure out what the fucking gender is. It's 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 crazy. That does not give you the right to do that. And you're not allowed to bash opinion. You're not allowed to have. You're not allowed to. You're literally not given the right, according to these people, to have a, a free speech opinions about things that you like or dislike. I guess. Like I mean, does it extend the other way though? Because you're. Like, that doesn't uh, give you the right to do that. Well, okay, am I am I given the right to, like, talk super, like, positively about something that I do enjoy? Like, if I was to just praise, you know, really heavily praise Madoka Magica instead, would that be, would I not have the right for that? Like, oh, some people might not like it, though. Some people might not. You don't have the right to praise it. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it's about the same thing. And all your videos are also cringe and hot garbage. <laughs> like anyone is ever going to listen to your repulsive rants about Super Origami Kingdom. Oh, in fact, his behavior is just as bad as, if not worse, than the three you-know-whos. Three you-know-whos. And I shouldn't even say their names at all. <clears throat> and I have just saved the worst for last. The worst thing this little monster has ever done! Okay, the worst thing they've ever done. This little monster. This thing, this person that we're spending an hour talking about who they acknowledge is, like, underage and beneath them in terms of, like, little, their dim diminutive wording to, to imply that they are, like, better or older or wiser or whatever. And I, I think they, they probably are actually older and wiser, and a number of them have more channels, like like more subscribers on their channel um, than this 30 subscriber person. Um, but yeah, this whole video just like talking down to this person. I, I, again, I don't know how you can like argue that this is acceptable, like on any level. There's no way that you can go through this and be like, oh, I just didn't know that it was a child and that it's wrong to be... Like, this angry about a fucking teenage person leaving comments on my videos on the internet. Like, I didn't realize. Sorry. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie. I'll, I'll just delete the video. Sorry. Like, the fucking Omni Kings thing. Again, it's like, you can't just say you're sorry. You spent God knows how long making that fucking video, and it never occurred to you even once that you shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. It's framing all my good friends! It couldn't dog see the dog six. This is it. Astral framing the framing all the friends. That's the worst thing this person's done. It's framing all of the friends. That's we we the little the, roll back a little. I just saved the worst, the for, worst last. for last. The worst thing the ever. The worst thing this little monster has ever done is framing all my good friends. I think you guys have truly. Uh, done their job for them at this point with this video. You know, you know what? They don't need you. Don't need nobody needs to frame you anymore. You know, we've we've seen the extent of your character now. It couldn't dog see the dog six, Astro Boy, Niall, Tanatoa Gaming Da, and Multi Fandom Fangirl oh. for absolutely no reason. Okay, but like, okay, Multi Fandom Fangirl is in chat. What did you? If you're still here, what did you? I don't know, did, were, did you feel like you were being attacked by these 10-year-olds on the internet? Or, or, like, are they just putting words in your mouth a little bit? Because I, I don't know. I can't comprehend somebody being like, Oh, this, oh, these children on the internet! Oh, I have to make an hour-long video! Like, I don't know, like, they specifically mention you. I know you were in chat before, I don't know if you're still here. But, uh, but man... You know, cinematic Venom moment. Not Tomatoa Gaming, da. Oh yeah, multi fandom fangirl is still here. She just makes a little dot underscore dot thing, <laughs> like a little blank face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where's Tomatoa Gaming yet? Uh, I'm sorry to put pressure on you, by the way, but I am I am curious. I I have to ask. Where's the punishment compilation? Oh, it might be... I mean, we kind of saw a little of that when Mario was beating up the little, uh, avatar. Uh, 
Let me see. Yeah, the, there's an open mic. It's an open mic. Brayden is ten, and they are like traumatized. Yeah, I don't know about the other two, but at least him, he is like pretty young. Let's hope they learn shame like cinematic venom. <laughs> Uh, oh shit yeah there might be punishment compilation that might happen um framed luna goku boo king Go goomba bowser celestia dead six jason gomez tamatoa gaming da nile jason gomez's sister ryu yurian elena ken chun li sonic shadow renamon agumon and others that's 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 just the start of who they framed um, they are putting words in your mouth. Okay, yes. I assumed they were trolls. Yeah, like, it's just little kids. I don't know why they're... I, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, yeah, it is weird that they're, like, dragging you into this. I, I don't know, but, uh... And I know why! Because this self-centered monster wants nothing but greed, selfishness, and self- Self-centered monster, dude... Dude, it's a 15-year-old girl. You've just described every 15-year-old girl, dude. Superiority! You dare call them out for something they didn't even do? And you get off scot-free! Again with this. Th this is so similar to Omni Kings. Because again with this, like, who are they getting off scot-free from? Like, like it, do you believe that their mom should be, like, mad at them or the police? Or just YouTube should ban them because they haven't broken any rules. You have, uh, with this video. Wh who like it's the same thing. They said the same thing in the de the, the Omni Kings video. They're getting off scot free. There's not even being punished for it. Like, like it's I, maybe that means they're wrong. Maybe you should critically analyze that they might not have done anything wrong. Then you done all those hurtful things. No background checks. People. And you deserve worse! Yeah, can we all in chat just agree that there are no background checks? Everybody, please. I know dogs dogs no motive! No story! But I will say it again anyway. Do you know what bullying does? Bullying can cause suicide! Again, again with this. Like, they have, like, a, between them, they have, like, a point, they have, like, a bullet point list of, like, ten things. And they made an hour-long video out of just, like, passing this list around, like, uh, uh, why would you even bully us? What did we even do? Okay, we did that one. Uh, did you know what bullying can lead to? Like, they just, it's, they, they keep hitting, this is so redundant. Holy shit. You know <laughs> what that No passports! Does it? I shall deal with you myself. No references! No employment history! No credit! So... Tear you to gore at feet. <laughs> no credit, bad credit, any credit at all. Come down to Dogs Eating Dogs 6 car dealership. We'll set you up with a nice sedan. Just on your flesh. Just like how Bowletta did with the Undertaker Penguin. No soup for you. Yeah, so we got like a real bat credit card screaming moment here, by the way. Like, I'm joke screaming over this, but he is actually screaming. Flesh. Just like how Bowletta did with the Undertaker Penguin! Oh, wow. That was the best part of the rent that you ever made, Jurassic. Once again, the music in the background sounds nice. I don't know what this is from, but I sure wish these fucking nerds would shut up. That was very spectacular. Good job. Good job. All right. Yo, a Honda Civic is now a member of the of the Sicko Clan. Amazing, amazing Honda Civic. Welcome, welcome. I can't play. I guess I can play a sound from the soundboard. I didn't break it before. Um. Uh. Well, welcome to the welcome to the to the army. Nani? You're welcome. To, oh, what? He's here. He's part of. He's part of the membership. He got a membership. Next stop is Rohan Games. All right, Rohan, you're up next. Hello, everyone. Oh my god, now we're into gotcha life. It really only just gets worse and worse. Now we're into gotcha life characters. It's me, Rohan King, aka the Video Game Guy. Also, thank you for inviting me, Astro Boy. Thank you. 
Look how much more of this video there is. Look how much more- Oh, that's the punishment compilation. It's a Mega Man themed punishment compilation. We're gonna get a little bit of this guy and then we're gonna jump ahead. I wanna see, like, uh, I wanna see all of it, but not all of it, you know? Anyway, what's that about that? Oh, yes! Let me talk about this. Guys, guys, let's not talk about those users. It's Don't talk else. about those users. No, no, it's not those guys. It's something. God, I really thought the music was gonna end and I'd be able to hear this fucking person. You know who he is? It's Anime Vintiverse! Get on, get me! Like it? Yeah, sure, why not? Like how he's got me on my video! What? The, what? what? Okay, what is happening? Because he says, like, let's not talk about this user. Let's talk about someone else. And then they're just talking about the person that the video is. I'm just so, I'm just so confused. I think this is what it's like to be these people. Oh, you got my picture on me! My channel! Yeah, this is just a reing child at this point. But God damn it! What the hell? Your actions and consequences! This guy is Krabba! I love this fucking like persona battle song that's happening in the background while this kid is screaming too. It fits so well. I mean, it's just so fitting for the video. Hey, they need to stop taking down on Super Origami Kingdom. Ah, you freaking freaks! Then I agreed for Dress Ranger 64. He's right by here. But enemy feature was wrong. Like, sure. The song actually sounds really good. It's got like a. It's got like a solo happening. It's good. Wait. So, listen to that. He Can this kid shut up? I want to listen to the song. Sorry, Tim? Nope. He didn't say sorry. That's for sure. This guy is called Heartless Jerk. He or he. He's fucking heartless! On YouTube. Like, goddamn. This actually sounds like a Sonic level. Like, like this sounds like it's like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like a Shadow the Hedgehog level theme or something, that era. Like, he hates his mother's girls. Maybe. Well, Rail that. Canyon like, type B. Why? I hate Somebody says this is like if the Wu Tang clan was actually cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, this is like a cross. Uh, this is. This is. It's like one of those. Uh, it's like when, you know, you have like a rap song with like five guys on, on it, and it's like this guy's verse, and then this guy's verse, and then that guy's verse, and maybe there's a chorus in there, here and there, or like a little instrumental part, or some sampling, or whatever. This is like that, except instead it's video essay format, and it's these guys dropping like five minute. <clears throat> five minute bars about how this person is a criminal this is this is a 58 minute diss track make no mis make <coughs> brook no foolishness with my words this is a diss track in video form because i read a man because i bug him and report to talk about an odd future oh, yeah. yeah yeah i actually bug him. and also enemy youtuber your video are cringe oh they are cringe subscribers you get terminate your channel this is un- I like- this is just unbelievable. The video- the- the extent of this video's criticism is literally YOUR VIDEO ARE CRINGE! YOU WILL LOSE SUBSCRIBER! Like, that is actually what's happening. I can't believe we found this. This is so great. For real! And I will never- YOU WILL LOSE you SUBSCRIBER! Day EVER AGAIN! You were in my friend Jason Gomez, Astro Boy, and Pepo! That was very illegal! I hate you so much, enemy teacher. You are sucks as hell! <laughs> Go kill yourself, you piece of crap! Wow! And leave my friend alone! Oh my god, like, it really is just, it's like a screaming, reing child. It's But I say child, but we always assume it's children, but it's so far been more adults than children. And, like, it sounds like a child. So did the fucking guy we looked at yesterday. This could just be Chris Chan. You know, this could just be like a Chris Chan, like, 20-year-old who's like, Leave my friends alone! And, and he's having this meltdown. I, I just, this is on the internet. This came out months ago. Chat members, this came out in April. This is new. This isn't from 2008. This isn't from 2010. This isn't from 2000. This is new. This is, this is so 2000 and late, if you okay. will. Okay, I'm calm now. I'm very calm down. 
So if you see, I don't it, think I'll... it is Persona music, but it does kind of sound like the um, when when it when like the seasons change, like the fall theme when you're at school. It sounds Vial like form, that. It will come out my anger form. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, say that again. I'm calm now. He's calm. He's I'm calm. Very calm down. He's calmed down. So if you see a vile form, it will come out my anger form. Oh, his super anger form. That's what happened. Look, guys, because I'll be in the members of Super Origami Kingdom channel. And what the punishment video is, you'll find out very soon. Also, guys, remember, please, just like Doxy Dog Six says and Astro says, block him and report him. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay, so Astro Boy's back. Well, we got this whole segment here. We accidentally watched that entire part. It's so easy to accidentally watch a whole fucking chunk of one of these videos. And, and I, I was like, oh, we're gonna jump around a bit. Oops, sorry, we watched the whole thing because the whole thing was funny. Oops. Like, I don't- and then all of it's gonna be funny. But, but like, there's only so many hours in the day, goddammit. I wanted to get through more of this, but oops, sorry, it was just too funny. <laughs> Oh crap, not that birch. Anything but that birch. Swag. Get what you fucking deserve. Super Origami Kingdom equals makes actual good content. This guy equals you just posted cringe. They make actual good content at Origami Kingdom, everybody. Again, large chunk of this video is either unlistenable completely or or it's just stolen memes from other people's channels that they didn't properly credit so i just don't i just don't see again it doesn't seem like it's asking a lot to point out that this is like not even that it's bad or anything just that it's not any worse than like this per and we don't even know what this person's content is this like anime vtube person at least the fucking omni kings video had clips of brayden with his stupid dolls and had clips of the other people and their weird art and shit and it had that guy with the wario hat and and he he, he was his like weird plushy videos like it, it it had clips of these people we're just supposed to assume we're just supposed to take their word for it we don't even see the supposed hate that was leveled at this per at, at, at their their way by this person we don't even see the supposed hate we're not seeing any comments really like there were tons of comments in the omni kings video this is like such a fucking weird smear campaign because there's not even any real evidence or anything this video has no background checks no evidence <laughs> well done rohan that oh yeah no five bucks from uh Five bucks from Hunter Moore. Dead Six is like a king to these people. They always mention and try to get views off his popularity. Yeah. 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 They, yeah, it's pretty constant. They always use the same um, uh, font that he uses, that like kind of swoopy font. It's like in all of their video. I think it's in the thumbnail for this one too. Oh, two, also two bucks from Dolphin Jelly. Your, vins are, your vids are cringe. Minecraft yourself IRL. Damn. 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 Damn, I just don't know what to say to that. My, my soundboard's broken, so I don't have a meme prepared. That's a shame. Um, yeah, they want to, like, shoot him like it's the end of the Joker. <laughs> no story! Uh, yeah, well done, Rohan. You told a 15-year-old to kill themselves. It's very great. spectacular. Well done, Rohan. Very spectacular. Too. Good job. Right. Seems like we've made it to the final part. Literally said to kill themselves. That's... I mean, wow. No, no, you guys are the good guys, not bullies, not bullies at all. It's like, and it's not even like, I, you know, there's probably people in chat, I've seen people before, like, what's the point of this? These people are all obviously regarded or whatever. Yeah, but like, you're going up against little kids and I'm just like, I don't know. Somebody needs to fucking teach you that this is not the way to behave, that you are posting cringe and you will lose subscriber. Well, that's not true, actually. You're probably only gaining subs by doing this, you know, honestly. And the final part is mine. You heard them right, anime VTuber. This is your last warning. You need to give up 
and surrender. We just need like a, we just, this is your last warning, by the way. The final solution is in effect. Um, <laughs> we need like a full like twenty minute recitation of no background. Like the the, the chat message. No, <coughs> what is it? No background checks. No evidence. No history. No law. No effort. No voice acting. No storyboarding. No drafts. No sentences. No paragraphs. That's from Low Tier God, by the way, in chat. Thank you, Low Tier God. Big ups. Uh, <laughs> we need like a twenty-minute version of that that just keeps going and going, just like just like real annoying mic spam TF2 audio. <laughs> like for your actions of making sixteen hate videos about and bro, Magic Mush has been here. We're all just enjoying the madness, man. About us and Super Origami Kingdom. Your luck has finally ran out. Now everybody will. Yeah, low tier god and DSP gaming were both in my stream today. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so know proud. the truth about you for framing us for no darn reason, and that means you have lost. Now everyone, I would like to make another point that this user really needs to be reported multiple times for his actions for framing Super Origami Kingdom and again, it's like not even a he. But all right, go off, Karen. All of us too. And make sure that you give all of those videos a dislike oh. as well, so that way this user will get what he deserves for framing us for no reason. Get what you fucking deserve! I said deserve. this before and I'll say it again. If you mess with the best... I'm certain that it's the real low-tier god in DSP. I mean, maybe they're based, maybe they watch, you know, you don't, you, who's to say? Then you lose like the rest. And as for you, anime VTuber, you have lost. Be so... so so, yeah, this just seems like... I, I don't see how anybody could view this as not just bullying. Like, you are directly saying, like, YOU LOSE, NEENER NEENER! Like, I thought you were upset that they were, like, harassing you. What do you mean they lost? Like, is this a competition now? You win? What do you win? <clears throat> it's so transparent that you're just trying to fucking bully this person. Because no one will ever support your channel and your subscriber number. It's like they're, you know, obviously they've got some issues in their lives that none of these people are super chadly motherfuckers. So I guess they just decided to like, you know, be nasty to people on the internet who were like, had less subscribers than them and were like kids. And they were like, well, people bully us. So, so this is how we get back. We're going to bully other people who can't deal who can't fight back against us or something like is this a superiority thing do they even know that's what they're doing probably on some level they have to or will go down to zero now you better tell everyone the truth of why you hate super origami kingdom as well as me and my friends as well refused then everyone will keep reporting your channel for good and it will be terminated forever that's all i will say to you all right. I yeah, Ma Magic Mush is the only actual celeb here right now. That's a shame. It, that doesn't even include me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not even included in that. Uh, that's a shame. But uh, no, it's probably for the best that Low Tier God is not here because I was thinking of looking at him on stream sometime soon. I don't want to. I don't want to get off on a bad foot. I think that should be the end of the rant right now. I think it's best that I would go back on now the Titan. Hold on a minute there. Hold on a, a minute there, Astro. We got another 13 minutes of fucking cringe here. Astro, we're not done with this yet. Lan and I found something more terrifying that you need to see. Oh, but Mega Man, I was just about to end this video. Look, I know you want to end it right now, but you need to see this. This is- he just starts posting like shock porn. He is like, like tub girl and shit. Like, he, like, Astro, have you not seen this? You need to see this. No, Mega Man, this has nothing to do with Astro. Shut up. This is important. Very important. <sighs> okay, fine. I won't to end send it Astro there. Some goats now, again. what is it that you guys want? Not in real life. Don't do that. Do not harass this person. Hands and feet within the bus. Do not do what they are doing. This is what you look like when you harass people on the internet, chat. You look like a real, you look like a real origami kingdom. Show me. Here, check this out. Oh. This uh, check this out. What is this? What is this? This is what anime VTuber said about Dog City Dog 6 by calling him evil. Okay, there. Okay. Now, what is it that you guys want to show me? So we finally have proof at the very fucking final hour of this me. thing? Here. That's right, anime Josue, but... 
Evil King Dogs Eating Dog 6, then stop right fucking then! Check this out. This is what anime V- Uh, anime Josue. Super high! I don't- I don't- <clears throat> I don't even know what this is trying to get across. I don't even know if they know what it's getting across. I don't think this is- this is gibberish. This is just like when those fucking children were talking, the fucking anime- Omni King people. And it was just like gibberish nonsense garbage. Just gibberish trash. Like f fucking English as your last language, as, I, as the joke was. This doesn't mean anything. None of this means anything. These are all just words. What, what is this what this is about? That's the craziest part about the fucking Omni Kings video and probably also this. This is the only proof of any of the claims that they're making here. This, that we've seen so far is this. We haven't seen any actual real, like, comments that have been mean or anything. The, the only proof so far has been this. And, and, and like, with the last video, even, where it had more proof, all of the stuff that we saw, it was all just, like, it was weird screenshots of, like, kids, I assume kids, or just really mentally handicapped people, like, talking in a way that was incomprehensible babble, and then they would be like, See? They just... DECLARED WAR AGAINST o OGAMI KINGDOM or whatever, like, make some kind of weird, like, jump with it. A a and this is just nothing. There's no meaning to be gleaned from this. Super set about Dog City Dog 6 by- Triggered, uh, you'll pay for this, Speedy Lit Sonic. I'll be back for this. I mean... So I don't know if this is real Dog City- Is this like a parody account, I guess? This is like they made a parody of him? Calling him evil. Stop that, please stop. Don't fight and stop Origami Kingdom. EXCUSE ME! THAT'S MY ORIGAMI! What? What did this user say? Yeah, he called Dog City Dog 6 evil. HE CALLED HIM HEARTLESS! Uh, this user did not just say that. Yeah, it's like fake screen- oh yeah, textingstory.com, so they just made up fake screenshots for this? Wow. Like the- I'm so confused though, they made up fake screenshots? But this doesn't even prove anything! <laughs> what is this even proving?! If you're gonna make up fake screenshots, at least have it say that they, they're like Nazis or something. What is this? This is just gibberish! What the fuck?! You say? Yeah. He called Dog City Dog 6 evil. Uh, this user did not just say that. Yep, he said it all right. Yeah, the only thing so far that has stopped. By the way, the, the chat, the, the super chat that messaged, uh, what, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Yeah, Hunter Moore with five bucks. Dead Six is like a king to these people. Yeah. The, the only thing that has stopped the loud, overbearing music throughout this whole video was this. We're set about Dog City Dog 6 by calling him evil. Music's not even overbearing anymore. It's actually at a fine volume now. What? But then it just cuts right out. That's the only thing. That's like dramatic silence. How dare they suggest that dogs eating Dog 6 is evil. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. What did this user say? Yeah. He called Dog City Dog 6 evil. Uh... This user did not just say that. Yep, he said it all right. You be the guy who made the video screaming at kids and whatnot? Yeah, you called him evil? Uh, well, I think that might be a little bit of an extent, like, you know, it might be going a little far, but I wouldn't say he's a, he's a hero, neither. And that's the reason <laughs> why I have to show this to you, because it's very important that you need to see. And I'm having a feeling that you're going to rage about this. Yeah, that's the reason why they did that. Like, there's no- that's the reason. There's no proof in this whole fucking video of anything that this user quote-unquote did. They're literally just accusing them of a bunch of shit. Half of it isn't even real shit, but the stuff that they are saying, like, oh, you're stealing content, blah blah blah. Like, that's about it that they show that they took, like, fucking- some fucking f uh, fi fr Friday Night Funkin' at Freddy's uh, videos or something. I, I don't know. Some fucking stupid shit, who gives a shit? 
And there's nothing else in this whole video. It's just them clowning on this person and calling them stupid and calling them pathetic and asking what they ever did to deserve the bullying. And then not showing any evidence of the bullying. And then when we finally get any kind of even remotely close to evidence, it's apparently just very obvious fake screenshots that aren't real. Anime video. So this whole thing, this whole fucking thing is just like a, a hit piece against this person. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable! Did anything even happen with the fucking Omni Kings? Maybe they didn't even do anything. Maybe they just didn't even do anything. Maybe they didn't even make any fucking comments. What the fuck? You did not just call Dog City Dog Six evil. How dare you? No, they did not call him that. Those those texts were not real. Oh, yep, here it comes, Lan. I think he's gonna unleash his dark form. Yeah, he's his dark form. You uh, you triggered my dark form by uh, by insulting our Lord and Savior, Dogs Eating Dog Six. Let's get out of this room very quickly. How, How dare you call our god evil? Anime VTuber, you better be prepared. You ate my sandwich. My sandwich. My sandwich. Amazing. Prepare yourself. What Astro was going to say. Dark autism form. Oh no. Okay. Now you've done it this time, anime VTuber. How freaking dare you? You call Dog City Dog Six evil. I'll have you know that Dog City Dog Six is not evil. You are just like the. You broke my grill. <laughs> Somebody just says, I am speechless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else there is to say, really. We have like more than 10 minutes left of this too. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. The luck is out because still If you're enjoying the stream, make sure to drop a drop a, a membership or, or like the stream or or whatever you want to do. There's there's ways to support the channel. Hey, 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 come on. I'm shilling the channel. I'm doing the YouTuber thing. I do it once a year. There you go. There's a Patreon link in the thing. Boom. We got a podcast now. You can go support that. There's merch even. How about that? Hey. Sailed. And that means that no one believed you. Now you're going to get a big time anime VTuber. Alright everyone. The moment So what no, hang on. Something something that <clears throat> that means sorry, I'm like I'm like coughing a whole bunch over my because I started laughing and I was smoking and now I'm coughing and so um Believed Nobody believed you. Why exactly again? Oh. It's so difficult to understand what is even being fucking said when they have these fucking voice changers going. And they all do this. They all do this. It's so annoying. The luck is out because those attempts have failed. And that means that no one believed you. I guess they're saying that like the attempts to... The attempts to... <clears throat> I guess slander... The whole thing about, like, making false claims, which is just, like, them saying that they're bullies or whatever, which they are. Um, that's, that's, like, all your attempts have failed, and now you, you, th this is happening, I guess. So, this is really vindictive. Now you're going to get a big-time anime VTuber. Oh, man, thank you. We got, uh, we got, uh, uh, Victor Martinez with the gift membership. Reaver Zappy with the certified sicko. Welcome. Soundboard's broken. Can't make. Can't play a sound. Uh, Frenchy French with the gift. Uh, Autistic Wolf with the gift. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stream's still going. Frankly, we might even just continue watching uh, this, this. These fucking people after this. I know I should do more ch suggestions, but this is unbelievable. There's got. There's probably more on this channel that's like as funny as this or funnier. Like, we, we haven't even, I don't even think we've reached the actual apex of how funny it can get with these, with these, these folks. It's so good, it's so goofy. Everyone, the moment that you have been waiting for is the punishment videos. It's time. The punishment videos, it's time. They, they, they superimpose the fucking picture over, like, a guy getting beaten in Minecraft or something. It's great. Let's proceed on to the punishments for anime VTuber.
completion time. Defeated by Jason's team and gets killed by Todd.exe. Is that, is that my boy, the legend of Todd? There it is, it's the team. This is really all this is. For the next like 10 minutes of this video, it's just this. Varying degrees of this. So now this is literally, like if you want to read this as bullying, this, these nerds are now bullying this kid. This is now physical internet harassment. You know? Like they're not, they're not pushing, up, uh, pushing them up against a locker. Or anything. They're not asking for his lunch money. But they're just like beating the hell out of this anime VTuber in Smash. Like, this is. This this is. Uh, I, I don't know. There's something really fucked about this. Oh no. Oh no, the spooky forest! Todd! It's Todd! Legend of Todd! No! Not Todd! So, they've just murdered the kid. There you go, dead. He's dead! Second punishment, Hamza uses a missile launcher on anime V2. One day, a spaceship crashed on the planet Popstar. Oh my god, what is this garbage now? What is going on? This is such fucking brain rot. I can't believe it. You need to be on, like, another dimension of thinking to be able to fucking make something like this, dude. And that is called autism. Kirby and his launcher set off to help Mandalore return to his home. What an amazing little... I'm a, this is such a good animation you made there. That's great. That made somebody laugh. Third punishment destroyed by Blitzo from Hell of a Boss. Oh yeah, getting hard on this motherfucker. <laughs> That's, it. That's the whole thing. You get like a quarter of a second. That's what you're getting out of this. It's literally just like, oh yeah, mm, yeah, they got hurt again. Mm. But it's not even that. It's just like an avatar on the screen for a quarter of a second and then disappearing and then the scene's over and then a rocket hits them, you know? Like, fourth punishment, tortured by SMG Mario. Hey, Stinky! Hmm? Ah. You just got... So, like, is this really the rest of this fucking video? There's- what is this? Oh, it's flowy. Um... Losing subscribers after posting cringe is the seventh co uh, punishment. I bet no one even cared! Oh, crap! No god, no god, please no! Not my fans! Don't take away my dumb fans! His fans are, he's got, th this, this anime VTuber has 30 subscribers. It's like, are they threatened by this person who has, like, any subscribers at all? Is that what it is? Like, because it was the same thing with those, the Omni Kings, like, oh, you just want subscribers! And they all had, like, 20 subs or something. <coughs> I don't know, man. Oh, crap! Oh crap, not that birch! Anything but that birch! We just already- we already saw this, um... Mega Man and Proto Man, this is the final punishment here. I guess this goes on for a little while, and now we got the end, and it's like a Mega Man scene there. Uh, the end of the punishment compilations. The end of anime VTuber, Catboy Josue Me. That'll teach you for framing and bullying us for the past few days. Days. 
the past few days. It's not even like this is over the course of months, this hour-long video. What a... What an unbelievable step up in terms of, like, retribution or whatever. Like, this person has just made a couple of comments uh, for a few days. And you make an hour-long video shitting on them and bullying them. You people are awful. Holy fuck. That's exactly what you deserve. Yeah, days. Yeah, an hour-long video, because for a couple of days, there's been, like, maybe a couple of comments. Maybe, which we haven't seen any of them. And all the evidence that has been shown has been fake. This could just entirely be, we just don't like this person, fuck this person. This is entire. this is just entirely a witch hunt, potentially. What a fucking pile of fucking bitches. Right, it's time to get off of this power. <gasps> <clears throat> there we go, much better. Finally that got out of the way. Uh, Astro, is it already over? Yeah, Mega Man, it's over. You guys can come out now. Phew. What a relief. You really let it all out, huh? Yay, Mario music! We fucking killed her at the beach! Wahoo! Yeah, a sweet relief, that's all I would say. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly what Anime VTuber gets for framing you and your friends, yeah, and including that's what they Super get. Origami Kingdom. Agreed. That's what that idiot deserves to be punished for framing you and your friends. For framing you and your f framing, like framing, the concept of framing has never been dragged through the mud so much before. So framing, right, typically means like you planted evidence on some guy, or you made some fake evidence or something, which is what you did with the fake thing, with the fake texts. You have like false texts in the video that you're using against this person. That's fake. You're, you you posted cringe. And you, you have been, you have fraudulently Green. fucking. That's what that idiot deserves. Yeah. To be punished for framing you. For fucking framing. You framed. You framed. I forgot the word framing for a second. I need a shadow to remind me. You framed. You framed that person. But supposedly they framed you. And framing, I guess, in their opinion, just means they, in their opinion, don't like you bullying people and bullying them. Probably. You probably started this. If I had to fucking guess, if it was my. If I had to guess, it was probably something that you people did to start this. When you're friends. Yeah, I agree. Same here. Well guys, the thing I wanted to say is, is that I want to say thanks to all of you for helping me and my friends out to rent an exposing anime VTuber. I really appreciate it for you guys. <laughs> it's no problem. We're just glad that we were able to help you out with this mission. And I'm glad to hear that, Mega. Yeah, that was a real difficult mission. You had a whole 15-year-old girl to take care of, uh, to, to, to rant about for far too long. Like, this is so far beyond, like, remember when uh, Iron Wrath would make, like, and a lot of people do this, but Iron Wrath was my favorite, who, uh, somebody would make, like, a, a, a one-word comment, and he would make a 10-minute response video, just pointing his camera phone, his, his phone at, like, the, the screen, uh, uh, you know, the, at the one comment on screen just being like, Yeah, see, this is what's wrong with people, you know, I don't care if you're black or white, but like, you know, if you don't like garlic, and, 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 and this is the same, this is like so much worse than that. You made this edited video. How long did it take you to edit this video? Did this person stop bothering you during the course of this fucking thing? Probably. Probably. You know? Like, holy fuck. Man. All right, guys, you can go. All right, now we finally got to the end of this rant. That was very spectacular. And guys, I would wanted to say thank you all so much for watching this rant video. I hope that all of you guys enjoy it. What's with this Mario shit in the background? And uh, I hope that I might have. I can't focus on what you're saying because Bowser is fucking growling back there, dude. Tea of time to continue on working how has this been so consistently hilarious for the entire video like even the fucking ending of this is still funny the titanic anniversary video if i may have plenty of time to finish it in time before the end of the 14th and 15th and i'm looking forward for you guys to watch the titanic anniversary video when it's going to be finished soon titanic well anniversary now video? that the rent is over you know the drill guys you gotta make sure 
that you leave all the dislikes on anime VTubers <laughs> videos so that way I love how it's you know the drill guys like we've done this before like you know how we usually v dislike brigade people and and report them like f you know you know how we usually do when we f f mass f f like spam reports on people's channel boys you know the drill you know the drill he or she will lose subscribers and also make sure that you report this user multiple times so that that this channel will be terminated for good so that way this user won't bother us anymore so be sure to smash the like button comment down below and hit the subscribe button and make sure literally a bully channel i mean like like Somebody said I should end my streams like this. Yeah, just end all my streams like, All right, guys, you know how we do around here. Smash dislike in all their videos, and uh, remember to tell them to kill them. Yeah, that would be great. That would be, that'd be so sure that you cool. leave the notification bell on, so that way you don't miss another <laughs> video from me. Yeah, you wouldn't want to miss another banger. Okay, um, I mean, at the risk of missing something hilarious, I will back out from the rest of this. Now, I, we should be doing other people's suggestions. And by other people's suggestions, I mean we will, we will. Uh, we will do other people's suggestions. Um, people are sad that it's over. Um, hang on. So this person is a criminal. Just absolute criminal. So they now have 101 subscribers. And there's other people posting rants about them too, but they are shorter. Here's one. Uh, from Super Pikachu Creeper, talking about this from four months ago. Hello guys, it is me, Super Pikachu Creeper, and today we are going to be on ranting on anime VTuber cat Joseph Me. And Joseph. the reason why I'm ranting on him is he was making fun of this YouTube huh. name Astro Boy Productions uh -huh. and harassing his friends and stuff. So yeah, we don't like rant friends. on him because I felt like it. Felt like it. We're doing a rant on. Look at the creeper Pikachu. That's great. So yeah, uh, check out Astro Boys Productions channel. If that, let's get started. Somebody says, "Oh my God, you struck oil claw." I mean, we struck it months ago. This is just the the vein keeps on gushing. His content, if you <clears throat> even could call it that, is terrible. Terrible. Not bad. Terrible. Terrible. Like, like just, just, just let me give you an example. Furry people have no rights. Furry people are not protected under the constitution. If you are a furry, I will find you and then you'll be sorry, Buster. Unfollow me right fucking now if you are furry. Have ever been- I don't know how this is worse than their content, though. It's got loud music in the background and an annoying screaming voice, and they're just taking other people's- Content, I guess, and like repurposing it to say origami people instead of furries or, or something. I'm furry, or this is like the identical. This is even made in Kinemaster. I will be furry. This is not a joke. Please leave. And that's why Sonic Drift sucks. No, what you saw was cringe. <laughs> Oh, there's so many good parts in this in this stream so far, like the part where Shadow's like, Wow, that was that was a good joke. Or or this just like <laughs> Well, what you saw was cringe. <laughs> just just take that. Just use that. Please use that in your own Straight productions. Up cringe. Straight up cringe. He's also lazy, like Bro, he couldn't even come up with his audio. <laughs> yeah, you just cut to a guy playing with a customized Pikachu creeper plushie. And he's like, now that was cringe. And did I imagine he steals music too? As you can see, um, right next to um, credit to fighting a funky and blah blah blah. blah. You can see, credit to everyone, so which means he stole it. Because wait, what? Does a channel like this? No, I don't think could pose. Credit to everyone. That's the same fucking shit that they said on the Astro Boy channel. Like, it's almost as if they're taking the piss, but I just know that they aren't. They just legitimately are that just that unaware um uh, uh, wow but yeah it's this description is way more descriptive than the one that the astro boy channel had this tells you what apps they use the fonts the fucking they, they say credit to everyone they specifically credit one video here i guess and then click your comments like the video there's a this name i don't know what all this means 
obviously, but there's more to it than there's more, there's more shit going on here than there was in that other video that was complaining that they don't credit anybody. It was silly. He just slaps on the dude and he just trying to make excuses. I don't know what you're saying, sir. A channel like this? No, I don't think it could pose. But yeah, it's pretty much silly. He just slaps on the dude and he just trying to make excuses. Excuses. So, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much my only proof. I can just show more. So, yeah, here's on screen. And for my final point, uh, he asks his people like oh, yeah, uh, this video. Lena, Knu, and Maria, Rena, and friends love at Super Origami Kingdom Crying XD. XD. Hashtag caught in 4K. So this is just again about how they don't like. This is like a. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing that that's what you're mad about. A solo rant of anime. Is this, this is a solo rant? This is the same thing, but. But it's solo. It's just a shorter one. You could have just made this the whole video! Oh, hell yeah. DSP is playing fucking Starfield, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, guys. I'm here to tell Why you... Why do I feel like new Bethesda games are made specifically for people like DSP? I mean, we talk about games being dumbed down for, for, for people like DSP in general now. But god, yeah, I feel like DSP would fucking love the the... the the like roller coaster theme park ride of a Bethesda game where they just make you go do all of the factions and do all of the content on one character and have a hundred in every skill and great. I'm sure he loves it. Oh, that the situation sure is gonna love Starfield, dude. I I'm so not looking forward to Starfield. I'll play it. I'll probably fucking play it, but I'm not looking forward to it. Situation is a lot worse. DSP because loves Starfield. Yeah, has done it again. And this time, he or she made a oh, rant. So now we have a text to speech, by the way. I didn't even notice this. Um, this is a different version of the same thing, but now it's a text to speech. I think I'm done on anime VTuber Josuke. It's not. Is it supposed to be Josuke? It's not. It's Josue. Uh, but they still make stuff. I mean, I say I'm done. I'm not even gonna, like. Oh, South Park fan dub? They've got people to do a fan dub for South Park. Wow, that sounds utterly unbearable. Um, do you have a link to that? Is there any? Is there anything from that? No, that's a shame. Um, but they do stuff here, and uh, yeah, I don't know. All of this looks awful. I mean, we got a creepy pasta. I'm sure they didn't make this. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's fine. Anime VTuber person and uh, um, Astro Boy and all of this. Um, I don't know. If we look at Astro Boy here, somebody in chat earlier was suggesting we look at uh, um, some other thing from these folks. If we look here. Subscriptions. Change Dragon. Who are you? You look interesting okay spidey and his amazing friends we got a little furry over here oh this is a popular youtuber okay um cos perry you know you got some normal size channel you know big big channels and then you got some jason gomez's and fangirls and whatnot uh millennium force markiplier hell yeah um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should... Perhaps I should move on from these folks. However, that being said... Well, who are you? Do you have anything funny? No, not really. Just a train channel. What about you? We looked at this guy. This guy was funny. His subscribers. His his channel. He, he loves Tony Sonic, like we all do. Tony Sonic Jam. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Tony Sonic's got side content. Passive income for Tony Sonic. You love to see it. Nail over here. I don't make videos, but I'm a member of SOK. Okay. Well, that's cool. Nathan the Casual Gamer. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy who said the Mario movie wasn't woke. I remember this guy. This guy said that he liked the Mario movie because it wasn't woke. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great video. He's got a good channel intro and everything. We only just watched this, like, uh, this week or something, because we, because, because I can't just, I just can't stop looking at this fucking hilarious channel. 
Like the, these people, the, this whole chan ring of channels that exists. Um, I mean, a super origami kingdom. Channels. Uh, members over here. We were going through this a bit the other day. This is it for the members? You don't have more members? Yeah, that's it. Wow, a lot of people are not being listed as members anymore. You don't have Tamatoa, you don't have Fangirl, you don't have, um, like, fucking most of the people that were ever in any of these videos are not here anymore. Tony Sonic is. Tony Sonic's got a decent following. What's Tony Sonic up to? He made an Undertale video. He's talking about Pikmin. We all we love we love Tony Sonic over here on this channel. I'm not I'm not gonna click on this Mario movie video. I can't do another thing about the Mario movie. We love Tony Sonic. We stand Tony Sonic. Every Sonic game ranked video game remakes that I like, but nobody else does. Um, uh, that sounds kind of interesting. Uh, everything wrong with okay yeah Sonic. Frontiers. Of course, it's a gonna, gonna be a lot of Sonic stuff. Obviously, every Sonic hero ranked. The thing is, I don't I don't really care to click on any of these. That's the problem. Is like it's great that he's got a couple thousand subs and and we love Tony Sonic here, but I kind of also don't really care about his opinion on any of this stuff. So, so yeah, we'll let Tony Sonic go today. But uh, the subscriptions over here. Well, this includes a little bit more going on. We got Luigi fan. Who is this with 500,000 subs? What the fuck is this? Hello, everyone. My name is Leonard, but you probably already knew that because oh, I... Jesus Christ, never mind. Um, Frasier Animations, Waluigi Penguin. This is a child. Yuval Amor, that's a child. A lot of people... A lot of little kids that you're following on here. Marcus the Tupac fan over here. Uh, Donnie the Hedgehog. Donnie the Hedgehog. Another, like, teenager who loves Nostalgia Critic, I guess. Um, Kevin Quintero. No content. Uh, ben Games Belgi. No, 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 no. Click, click on him. Oh, it's one of these. We get to see him play Mario from a distance off screen. Like anybody would ever, ever need to watch that or want to. Um, Jason Gomez, of course. Maybe we should just look at some more Jason Gomez. That might be good. Kevin Call, Edwin Beatboxer over here. Um, got some beatboxing videos. Oh, we got a Jerma Sus. Um, Corbin Be <coughs> Bean. Rohan Games. Yo, it's Rohan Games. Yo, he uses the font. You know he's cool. You know he's down with the dead sickness. Because he uses the, the, the font. Uh, Vile Myself Destroyed Velma Show. Oh my god. It's the same. It's this like... Oh, I can't believe the cesspit of content that I got into right now. Just this like gotcha life shit I'm now watching on stream. I can't believe this. Um, what's your po What's your most popular video? Somehow he actually got, like, a good amount of views on this one. 27,000. Destroying the Thomas the Tank Engine show that they all, they all don't like. Um, sure. It's just a fucking Power Rangers scene. It's just like Power Rangers. But they're destroying the, the, the Thomas show. That's so great. I love that he got 27,000 views and 100 likes. Only four dislikes, though, so that's cool. Um, yeah, what, there's, not, there's like not even anything I can say about content like that. What about you? Um, this is like a little kid. Okay, Suburban Wombat. Most of these people are like... Or like kids. Pedrum over here. Well, I remember Pedrum. He was the one with OBS. That's cool. Hey, Pedrum. How to bring back dislikes. Hey, everyone. Today, I'll be teaching y'all how to bring back the dislikes. Oh, he was going to show us, like, how to install a, a, a bar or something. I thought he meant, like, <clears throat> the grand strategy we can employ to get Donald Trump to tweet about bringing back dislikes or something. Um, uh, Smash Alex. Mike F. Just a lot of random people. Here's a here's a pony. 
And it's a bunch of garbage. Yeah, it's a bunch of fucking hot garbage. All right. I think I'm good on these people. If we have any other good suggestions here, maybe. Um, maybe we will uh, look at some of those. Let me see here. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, we're going back a couple hours at this point. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to be catching up on Super Chats. I'm sure there's going to be some suggestions here. Although I've been going for a while, I might just end it right around here. I don't know. We've been going for quite a quite a long time now. Uh, Nero's Q. I'll probably do another one like this pretty soon. But um, let me see. Let me see. Den of Delusion became a member. Thank you very much. Two bucks from Tivy Two Vs. Went to get ice cream with my grandparents. I'm back. Did you did 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 your grandpa like Jurassic World Dominion? Ten bucks from Zorotsu Nagara. Damn, this actually got me crying laughing at work. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody in chat says I'm going to end it too, Claw. Oh, there's no need to. There's no need to get to. to listen, it's all. It's almost it's done. It's done. It's almost done. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Autistic Wolf with the gift sub. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, um, five bucks from Sua Shack. This this dude's speaking at 0.75 speed and thinking at 0.5. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's a good way of putting it. A uh, dollar, two dollars from Bogey Fan One Hundred and One. Try Smash Bandicoot. It's a fun saga. I may, yeah, I don't know. People have been talking about that. I might get to that at some point. Um, that could be okay. Two bucks from JC. The audio is from a Psychic Pebble Skyrim short. Yeah, apparently so. They even just stole that too in this video where they complain about somebody taking videos without crediting them. They sure did. They sure did do that. I'm glad people in chat knew the credit because they sure didn't get it. Give it. Uh, five fifty one. Uh, from Exile Postman. Hey, just leaving work now. If you're still taking suggestions, look up Super Dragon Chant Wrestler Attacks Fan. Uh, all right, let me see here. Super Dragon Chant. Um, Super Dragon Chant. Wrestler attacks obnoxious wrestling fan. Uh, it's two two minutes. From a channel called called Cringe Vision. All right, well I'll tell you what we're winding down the stream, but I'll watch stuff if you guys are 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 suggesting it while I while I'm doing the super chat. So we'll do this here. Okay, now I don't know much about wrestling, so I don't know when this is going to be funny. So I guess it's the guy who won't shut up about Super Dragon. Somebody, like, attacks him in the crowd. Wow, it's like one guy shouting that too. It's definitely not the crowd. Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Wow, he will not shut up. I hope they beat his ass. Super Dragon! Shouting like, shut the fuck up! Reversal right there. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, are we gonna clown on the guy in the audience yet? Somebody drag his ass into the ring. It was at this moment they both. I like. The, I like this part where they both are like, "Hey, you want to just shut this guy up?" Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'll. I'll stand over here. You go take care of that. We'll continue the fight after this. Uh oh, that guy sat down real fast. <laughs> he didn't think that was gonna happen, did he? Super! Oh no, no, no! He's still up for 
Thor, he's still up. He's still he's still a fighting fresh. Yeah, come and get him. Go get him. All right, motherfucker, I'm gonna give you a lap dance. Yeah, hit him with the chair. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I do like the the moment when they both just decided to like, yeah, you know, let's just deal with him and we'll, we'll get back to it. That's that good. Uh, um, uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Super Dragon, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's see, two bucks from um, uh, JC. These people are beyond regarded. Yeah, five bucks from oh, some of them. Five bucks from Grace. People, uh, Klosh, uh, should I start my uh, start off my day drinking with honey bourbon or vodka sodas? So I'll start off my day drinking with. Uh, but, uh, well, you know, I didn't uh, answer you. I'm assuming you figured it out, but I guess my my response would be vodka sodas. I think I think I'd go with that. Uh, I need something to get through this, Lamau. Well, I hope you figured something out. Sorry about that. Two bucks from Sua Shack. Refrigerator temp IQ. Yeah, two two bucks from get that griff. Gonna take a quick snooze. Can you lull me to bed? Oh, I think the video did a good job of that. I hope you you rested well. Six six <coughs> six eleven from Exile Postman. Jason Gomez, the talking dinosaurs, sounds like a sentient nose, not a bully string. Well, yeah, when you can even hear him. Ten pounds from Borderline. Who boy, this user. Yeah, this fucking user. Uh, five bucks from Notwar Thite. Not, not, okay, what is that now? What is that? That's, the, that's, no, no to our fight. I'm trying to figure out what your name says, bro, but I, I, I'm, there's like, there's like a pun there. I don't know. Five bucks for the booze bear fund. Love your content, Claw Father. Thank you very much. I, uh, you know, I'm not drinking so much at this point, but, uh, yeah, the, <clears throat> the, the weed bear fund, maybe. Two bucks from shitty streamers. Dark Bowser, the brother of the white Bowser. <laughs> Dark Bowser. Yeah. Um. Two bucks from Evil Tomato Man. Can you let all of us hear the uh, hear hear all the impressions for a sec? Uh. Yeah. The the various fun impressions of the video. I think we heard most of them. Yeah. Um. Uh, five bucks from JC. I like how they don't address the person as Josue Me and instead Anime VTuber because it's redundant to say Anime VTuber because ninety percent of them are anime. <laughs> Indeed, yes, that uh, that thought crossed my mind. They they all they, they it's very, it's such a strange impersonal video. Like they again, the person has been targeting them for like uh, supposedly targeting them, quote unquote targeting them for like two for like days, uh, for all these past days. Like that's what they said. So they don't know anything about this person. They have no fucking frame of reference. They like yeah, there's very little to even say about them. So they just call them by like this weird anime VTuber, he, they, she, whoever they are. They show images of them. They're like a 15-year-old girl. It's like, yeah, they, he. Very strange video. Uh, two bucks from JC. But Sargon, we need to bully this 15-year-old. I don't know. I feel like Sargon might be on, on, on board for that. Two bucks from Just Larm. Roll your R's for the rest of the stream, please. Oh, you're, oh was that supposed to be a, was that supposed to be a V? Thing. I remember V, the little shit, the little shit munching goblin. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, roll your arms for the rest of the stream, please. I, I think V did kind of sound. But sorry, gun. We did not. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm picking it up now. Um. Um. Yeah. Fifty dollars from Wistato. Stumbled upon one of your Pamper Chew vids. It was the best, worst thing to ever happen to me on YouTube. Thanks for what you do. Thank you very much for the 50, and I hope that, I said it before, I hope that this was the new best, worst thing that you've experienced on, on YouTube. Uh, this, this, this horrible, horrible stream. Um, uh, thank you very much. 613 from Exile Postman. I actually think that all of our old friends, Dead Six may have the most talent as a creator. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not sure what makes you say that. Talent? I mean, I don't know. He's not... I mean, he's got some talent, sure. He's not more talented than, like, Matt Ullman. You know? Uh, there's a lot of people out there who have been discussed on this channel who have uh, a good deal of talent. 
I'd say more than more than dogs eating dog six. Uh, but you know, I I wouldn't say that he is without any talent. Uh, he has some. It's just that he you know doesn't understand how to evolve you know and how to take criticism. He probably is just being criticized a lot of the time, and he he doesn't really take it as criticism. Uh, it, he takes it in a very strange, like, personal way, but also just doesn't even really feel like he's genuinely apologizing. I don't know. It's a whole thing with him. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that he's, like, particularly talented more than, more than a lot of people. I mean, he's more talented than fucking, uh, he's probably more talented than Chris Chan, you know? I'll give him that. Probably more talented than, uh, probably more talented than, like, Cobra, maybe? I don't know. Cobra's... Cobra's like an idiot, an idiot savant when it comes to fucking... Uh, oh, by the way, you know, you're not allowed to say idiot savant now, by the way. You know, that's also offensive now. That's a new one that you're not allowed to say. I, I learned that. I was watching a video and I lost all respect for the person who I was watching who, who was like, This thing which I will not say here! I think he was British and I was just like, okay. You, you can't even say idiot savant. I mean, it's bad enough you can't say the retard word, but man, I just want to grill. Um, it's okay, I can say it. I'm arm retarded. My arm is retarded. It's fine. The growth of my arm was literally retarded. I can say it. I can say it. Um, <clears throat> another 211 from Exile Postman, just clearing up a spelling error there. Two bucks from Jim S. Dogs Eating Dogs 6 interview when... I don't really do interviews that much. Maybe on the podcast, but I don't think that that would necessarily work out that well. I mean, he doesn't seem to be... Uh, doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to be a good idea. I don't know. Uh, for various reasons. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. That could be fun. Two bucks from Get That Griff. Uh, Origami Kingdom has fallen. Billions must rant. There's gonna be rant king- rant- rants about the Origami Kingdom. You know, it's gonna be like the fall of fucking Rome, dude. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, f uh, two bucks from Dolphin Jelly. Your- oh, your bins are cringe. That's right. Damn. Damn. I'm not gonna recover from it. I still haven't. I still haven't. Uh, five bucks from Autistic Wolf. C certified sicko coming through. Where's yours? And he posts all of the different stream emotes that you can get if you become a member on this channel. Which, again, we will do more. I should probably do it now because we've been going for a while. This is a good stream to do uh, add some more emotes. But I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been going all day. I don't know if I need to do more emotes at this point. But uh, maybe, maybe sometime soon. People have to remind me in the stream... Or I'll just like go into it and I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll outright that we'll do that at the end. Maybe that should be like a members only stream or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, then there's a lot of people who were members like last month and their membership ended. And so I wouldn't want to leave them out necessarily. So I don't know. I don't know. I, well, we'll do that at some point soon. Um, we'll get some more emotes in. But there's a number of cool emotes there. You got your Yes Man, the, the Tony Kornheiser It's Time. You got a Smurf emote for all your Smurf related needs. You got a, yeah, you got a Sax Weirdo with Rich Evans. You got a Smuggo. There's like a little smug face emoji. And there is a Nug Champ for all the Pog Champing moments that are necessary and it's a little nugget man who's who's, who's pog champing and and uh and he you know there's going to be more there's going to be great ones there's going to be some shitty ones that probably we have to remove eventually but we're going to try them out we're going to try them out it's going to be a whole future of weird emotes uh so 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 get on board for that uh 212 from exiled postman what if they made a video like this about you again i don't think that it would necessarily happen because uh you know i they historically have only done so about people smaller than them and younger than them and all of that and uh and so like me i'm <clears throat> kind of i don't know i i don't want to i i think i i'll just say it i think i'm i think my dick is just a little bit too big for for origami kingdom and they are like they're like a little bit afraid of me i think that's that's what it is i mean I, it shouldn't be there's no reason to be afraid of me i'm a perfectly nice man i'm nice but, um, but I like it. Yeah, no, they seem to be kind of, uh, the types of people who are willing to bully children. And that implies to me that they're probably not willing to respond necessarily, uh, in kind to, uh, somebody who's, um, bigger than them and perceived as stronger or something, which, um, you know, that's certainly arguable. Uh, I wouldn't say that 
in, in all honesty, I wouldn't say there's any reason for them to necessarily be scared of me, uh, you know, or anything like that, but I do think that they probably wouldn't want to. I mean, there was some level of response in the form of, like, the apology thing, but it was, <clears throat> you, you know, I don't think it's going to be, like, a three-hour video about me um, from... from from uh the dogs eating dog six people the origami king kingdom people i i think i'm somewhat out of their tar their target harassment demographic um uh two bucks from autistic wolf my favorite voice so far is shadow the hedgehog <laughs> yes that was a good joke uh two bucks from autistic wolf super dragon and then 10 bucks from zen i found a guy called Craig Giggy, and he has some unironically borderline experimental tunes. Ones like The Bible is the Book for Me and Please Lord Not a Fatty. Alright, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Craig Giggy. Alright, this is the, so the, the title. This is the front page song you get on his uh, page here, on, on, on his YouTube channel. Please, Lord, not a fatty. Please, Lord, do not give me a fat lady to wear. Round face, big arms, bloated body, help a bottomless hips, elephant <laughs> feet. Instead, the heavens blessing, an angel, slim and slender, virtuous vessel. Possibly in Michigan. Call just right. Leave us the hold on tight. Flat oh man, and we got uh is that multiple five gift subs from from no, that's just the one. It, it sometimes it pings it multiple times, but we got five gift subs from Milksteak. Thank you very much, Milksteak. I appreciate that. And I hope that people who've stuck around here for the ending. It's always good to give them out at the ending here, for the people that stick around for the Super Chats, because that's the, that's the fun discussion hour. And, you know, this is like advanced Super Chats, where we're still accepting requests. You can still put in a request right now in the in the thing. If you put one in the, in the regular chat and it, it piques my attention, uh, I'll probably look at it too. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of winding it down, but, like, you're, you know, we're still getting this. We're, this is still on the table. Tell me what I like. Much more pleasing to the sight. Healthy. This is, so this is what happened to Paul after the Beatles, huh? Damn. Um, so he's got a lot of videos here. Uh, here's one from two months ago. That was nine years. This is two months ago. Be a propaganda people Wanting to look as hard as we can See how wanting to like, look as hard oh man, this poor guy's like living in a like a hospice care or something hard as we can see how we should walk and hear the best way to talk yeah, i'm not sure how the audio got worse over the course of wow it's this little of the video has gone by it feels longer than that um really brain bruise over sit back and it looks like he has like maybe crutches or something like ms talk. maybe I don't know, maybe something unfortunate has happened to him over the course of the last decade uh, since that video. But here's one from a year ago. Maybe it was just something more recent then, because here he is. The countryside is the place to be. So as of a year ago, he seems to be relatively, like, you know, uh, up and about and normal. And then, and then a year ago, he stopped posting. Four months ago, you had this. And then here he is on camera, and he's, like, pretty fucked up. This is about how we fall into line with what's going on. Wasn't this the song from the Super Bowl halftime show? <laughs> um, the proper gander people. I hope your recovery is going well. What happened to him? Dang, does he have, like, a community thing? No. Well, he hasn't really talked about what exactly happened to him. Maybe it's in this video, Fast Food Revolution. Uh, how is everything? You keeping well? My days are good, medium, and poor. This is some borderline experimental content from Zen. There you go. Where are you, Craigie? Are you okay? Uh, spinal Rehab Clinic. Oh, dang. Man, that's a shame. I hope he's alright. I do hope he's alright, but this is some... This is definitely some borderline experimental content. Keeping keeping clean against COVID. Keeping clean against COVID nineteen. 
Don't be me, a terrible fiend, and pass on a pandemic to all unseen. Never make our persons to move to space, and if you have to talk... The chat says he, they think he's an anti-vaxxer. I suppose that's possible, given this video, but, uh... I don't know, this might just be general cleaning advice. It's hard to tell. It's... But the theme of today's stream is it's difficult to fucking tell what these people are saying. It's the same with the fucking origami people, but the, the, the guy's got, like, effects on his voice, and it's hard to fucking hear him. I just don't know. I just don't know what's happening. I just don't know. Uh, walking for love, fast food revolution karaoke. So this is gonna tell us what the lyrics are. Okay. Yeah, show me the lyrics. That's good. Oh, but we don't get to hear the actual song. Okay. That brings a negative tone to banter. Then it's time to pull up pants and everything you do. Take care to be accurately right. You may be fostering cancer. You. Yeah, that brings a negative tone to banter. As long as it gets the job done, that's the best horizon. Diabetes, heart disease, strokes getting worldwide. And quit that quibbling rant. So what if food is going to poison? To stop you seeing the stars in the sky and speeding dementia so you'll never know why. Worse, all to aid destroying the universe. Is this like fat? You're talking about fast food here? Um, feeding the masses, misleading from sm getting smart, mur murdering with lead gases, breaking nerves apart. Oh, isn't it fantastic that we can undo drastic damage, knowing Christ is here for the errors that we make to help us hear and heal and learn from those torturous, terrible mistakes. Bars! Bars! Um, so he's got some opinions. He definitely has some opinions. This is some, some political... You know, uh, politically charged music here, uh, popular. Uh, he's gonna teach us how to make biodiesel. Please don't give me a fatty over here. Uh, we are the world cowing who? The Bible is the number one book for me. Lost in some dizzy, insect infested, junk food, sickly, day. Definitely doesn't like junk food, that's a recurring theme. Wondering if the lifelong downward spiral was simply just the face. I mean, I still don't know what it is that he's saying, and him whistling out of key is also not helping. Somebody says, this isn't how music works. Okay, all right. I don't know what's happening, and I'm scared, and I'm and I'm disoriented. Um, um, that's uh, the uh. I used to not believe in God, but this changed my life. Yeah. Um. Well, that's it. Probably. I think that's that's good. That's the, I think I'm I think I'm done streaming now forever. Um. That's all. That's all. That's all. We never need to stream again. Um, Craigie has changed my opinion about life. I need, I'm going to go join a convent, I think. Um, so thank you everybody for watching my final stream. Uh, I'm going to see you again tomorrow, probably. Uh, probably tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, maybe later tonight. I don't know. Maybe in the morning. Maybe whenever. Who knows? But, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, not, not really the final stream. But, um, thank you for watching. And, uh, this has been a pretty fun one. We've done some... Thank you for the good suggestions. Uh, we went a little long on the Astro Boy video, and some. we also had other Jason Gomez stuff earlier. We can't get away from these folks. I mean, any given opportunity I see people recommend it, I'm like, man, you know, that is just going to be the funniest thing in this, uh, in this, in this chant. Like, in, in any give, at any given moment, that is the funniest thing we could probably look at. So it's, it's hard to, it's hard to not look at, at, uh, Origami Kingdom people, but, um, you know, next, uh, 
next uh, next stream, next time we do a, like a, a suggestion stream, I'm gonna make sure that we try to stick to new things. Hopefully, uh, hopefully. Um, but man, it is, is it ever tempting to look at some of this stuff? I mean, Astro Boy himself is a fucking gold mine. He has the 9-11 video and he has that video. And like, man, man, and he's best friends with like fucking Jason Gomez. It's man, it's, it's mental. It's mental. Um, but yeah, that, that will, uh, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. Thank you everybody. Tomorrow we might do aliens. We might do, uh, I don't know, Prager U. Maybe, maybe the kids, the weird kids propaganda pra Prager U videos. Uh, maybe some of that. I don't know. Uh, oh, and I guess also the fucking, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. What is it? Like Jacob and Sophia or whatever. C Caleb and Sophia. Something like that. Uh, the weird Jehovah's Witness kids videos. Well, well, we can make a stream out of that. Um, uh, maybe that'll be tomorrow. I don't know. Something weird. Something weird soon. Something weird. Something weird and probably, uh, pro probably, probably pretty wacky. So thanks for watching this one, and uh, see 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 you next time. Penis.